the 2002 AFL Grand Final, played at the Melbourne Cricket Ground on Saturday the 28th of September 2002 between Brisbane Lions and Collingwood. The teams, Brisbane Lions, backs Chris Johnson, Michael, White. Halfbacks, Chris Scott, Lepich, Ashcroft. Centres, Brad Scott, Voss, Pike. Half forwards, Headland, Brown, Lappin. Forwards, McRae, Lynch, Power. Followers, McDonald, Black, Ackermanis. Interchange, Hart, Keating, Notting, Shatter. Collingwood, Backs, Ben Johnson, Presto Giaminico, Clement. Halfbacks, Loney, S. Wakelin, Malloy. Centres, Lockyer, Buckley, Leon Davis. Half forwards, Bathyrus, A. Rocco, Burns. Forwards, Didak, Tarrant, Fraser. Rucks, McKee, O'Brie, Lecuria. Interchange, N. Davis, Freeborn, Scotland, Steinford. There were no changes to the selected sides. Crowd, 91,817. Umpires, S. McBurney, M. James, B. Allen. Weather, intermittent showers, temperature 15 degrees. The Norm Smith medal for the best player in the grand final was won by Nathan Buckley of Collingwood. The 2002 Brownlow medal winner was Black of the Brisbane Bears. gets the first knock for Brisbane, Burns there for Collingwood, stolen by Pike, gets the Lions inside, 50, rolling ball, Lynch, Acker, Manus, back of the pack, Acker's got it, Steinford's got him, Acker's got it again, gets a handball out, back pocket, Loney takes it across the boundary line, great tackle early, Carl Steinford stopped a certain goal. It was just all momentum, all from the centre bounce, Clark Keating over the top and just strong bodies bashing the ball forward. Ball about to be put back into play. McKee doing the ruck work against Keating. Knock towards Headland. Lynch, fumble, forward pocket, tries to get a handball back to Headland, but he can't break free. All this happening at the city end, to which the Lions are kicking after winning the toss to start this 2002 grand final. Brisbane's form on the road against leading teams this year is not good. At the throw-in, Keating first hand on the ball. Collingwood numbers around the footy. White's got it for Brisbane. Now Keating, he's bobbed though and dispossessed. And the ball's socket clear for Collingwood by Clement. First man back, Voss. Out near the 50, falls over on the slippery, treacherous surface now. Hart last year's Norm Smith medalist tries to tunnel it to nobody. Buckley is legged and Nathan Buckley will take Collingwood's first kick of the grand final. Out of the back pocket, around below the members, which soon will be no more. It finds the chest of Tarrant, but it bounces off over the line for a throw-in. Still up towards Brisbane's half-forward line, but about 75 metres from goal. I In gather Tarrant's definitely there, Doc. Yes, he's there, and he's picked up by Chris Scott. Beautiful. <laughs> At least we're working in unison now. Ball back into play. Keating just outside attacking 50 to Ackermanis. Almost a throw to Voss. Umpire blindsided. In fact, he's paid it because the boundary no, umpire... No, it came off Voss's feet out okay. in the fall. Is it? Yep, that's what was paid by the boundary umpire. Oh, OK. The boundary umpire did signal to the field umpire. Long kick, Lecuria to the wing. Rocker comes hard. Can't take the mark. Left tackle laid by Leon Davis. Ball comes free. Black had it, lost it. O'Bree steals it. High kick, long kick to half forward. Terrence on his own. Inside 50. Spearing pass. Looking for Nick Davis. Back to Tarrant. Can he start with a miracle? Wobbles it towards the goal square. Went for a centering ball instead of a shot. Might come back in. Chris Johnson. Hard. Ducked under a tackle. And he handles out of play. Forward pocket for Collingwood. It'll be a ball in. No score to either side. Two and a half minutes first term. Great evasion by Johnson. He just went clean under the tackle at the throw in. Keating and Fraser. Fraser out jostles him. Takes it out of the air and misses with a left foot snap. He just missed the first score of the grand final. A Collingwood behind. That, that I think will be very disappointed with Clark Keating. They're being pushed out of the way by Josh Fraser. Uh, interesting match up the other end is Steinford has gone with Des Headland at half-back flank. Ball about to be brought back in by one of the most accurate defensive kickers in the comp. And he goes wide, Chris Johnson, with precision to Pike. About to get caught, does get caught, that's holding the ball. Patheris, great tackle, holding the ball on 50. Rupert Patheris. 
the artist. Can he paint something here that's pretty for Collingwood to watch? He goes to free ball, the only premiership player in the Collingwood lineup. Experience hits the post. Now behind. Two chances for Collingwood in the last 60 seconds. Two behinds. Lions yet to score. Four minutes first term. They've both had a chance. They've both done some attacking. No one's hit the target yet. Johnson goes long and very wide, hoping for Pike, but Ferris with him. Takes it over the line. Collingwood having a couple of good minutes here. It's over on the southern side. They're going to the punt road end. The ball is 20 metres outside the 50. Throw in coming up. Keating and Anthony Rocker to do the ruck work for Collingwood. Keating gives him a nudge, then gets a double hander, but to nobody. Ball in dispute, pack around it. It's not going to be an attractive game of footy. There will be another ball up a little further from goal than it was when it was thrown in. So about 75 metres out now. Deep on Collingwood's right half forward flank. The Magpies with two behinds. The only scores so far. Keating knocks it inboard. Brisbane get a free kick. Steve McBurney making the adjudication and uh, the ball goes the Lions way and Hedlund threads it to the wing and he finds the big man Keating giving preference over Bo McDonald at the start of this grand final. He plays on Southern stand side just a high bomb and a hope to half forward Brown flies hands on the ball couldn't mark it black caught a little high umpire said it was okay Steve McBurney who was about three meters away in perfect spot to make that decision and there will be a bounce 48 metres from the Lions goal. Magnificent crowd in, especially considering the conditions. McKee takes it out of the air but can't get a kick away. Pike steals, gives to Voss. A torpedo towards goal from Voss. Offline. All inaccuracy from both teams so far. Five and a half minutes in first term. Collingwood two behinds. Lions one behind. A couple of things at the other end of the ground. Um, Bitharis is really trying to run Johnson wide and out of the play and every opportunity Fraser is trying to take Lepish right back to the goal square to stop their attacking moves. Loney kicks to himself, runs and then kicks long as he is capable of doing. There'll be a Brisbane free kick though as McKee recklessly ploughs into the back of Brown. Oh, an interesting matchup is Buckley's gone with Voss, Voss. and it's a one-on-one -on -one, so he's been responsible obviously trying to run off him and Brett Scott's gone to Paul LeCuria. Brown uncertain, eventually kicks very high. It lands 25 metres out, Collingwood mark, scout mark in defence, taken by Presta Giacomo between fullback and halfback. Quickly squirts the hand pass out the back for Loney to use his kicking ability again in the Tarrant direction. Chris Scott arrives to make the spoil. McKee picks up for Collingwood. Skids a kick beyond the wing. Michael Voss is on the end of it though. Has it now and drives Brisbane with an old-fashioned long ball. In a half forward, Ackermanis and Johnson of Collingwood. Johnson made the spoil, brings it to the boundary. There'll be a throw in just inside Brisbane's 50. Right half forward flank, six and a half minutes in. Collingwood two, Brisbane one. All about to be put in. Light drizzle falling here at the MCG. It's been rained for most of the morning. Ball in, both Ruckman fall. Johnson for the Pies over it. Now White over it for the Lions. Now Black, handball out. Found Buckley though, who was manhandled by Boss. Play on to the umpire. White to Lappin, slaps it back. Ackermanis snap, kicks, misses, hits the post. It's been a very even first term. Both teams have hit the post. Both teams have had opportunities. Both teams are very, very wet. Seven minutes in, two points apiece. Hurried that a little. He had a moment. He should have goaled. Two behinds each. Loney to bring it back in. Young player to have this big job. He dabs this one short to O'Bree, who takes the mark only 20 metres up from the edge of the goal square. He goes southern side, three-quarter distance kick, hoping for Freeborn, wearing in closely Ashcroft, takes it to the boundary with a fist, and there'll be a throw-in. Left half forward flank for the Lions. Seven and three-quarter minutes, not a goal in sight. Collingwood two behinds, Brisbane two behinds, with the Lions having the ball in their attacking half. McKee and Keating. McKee's doing brilliantly. Takes it out of the air. Kicks the ward half forward. A clean balls. Michael and Rocker. Back of the pack. Ashcroft. 60 from Collingwood's goal. He slips. Handball out. Looking for Chris Scott. Finds him. Handball to power. Looping ball over the top to Black. They work it to the wing. The Lions. Black to half forward. Long kick. Getting back. Steinford. Another good spoil. Knocks it out of play. This time his spoil on Headland. And the man they call the new wizard at Collingwood, Carl Steinford, 
providing for them early ball out of play 50 from the Lions girl we've played eight and a half minutes still two behinds apiece boundary umpire with his feet astride the 50 at the throw in McKee again a share of it brings it to the back Collingwood over the footy no takeaway though now Ackermanis has the go for Brisbane he's brought down almost pitchforked into the ground on that peroxide blonde hair of his here's the pack forms there'll be another ball up umpire McBurney says he'll throw it up 10 stoppages already Daryl White sweeps this clear Pike arrives sockers it but wide for Brisbane out to the boundary again another throw in just inside Brisbane's 50. An interesting thing there Tim is that Collingwood are keeping their six forwards but their other midfielders and the wingers are all going into the contest to try and block up any space for Brisbane. Back into play, Ruckman lock arms, Keating tried to get a hand on it, hard place for a free kick, they're into him, but he's over it, and umpire McBurney says six of one, half a dozen of the other, and, and Wayne, this there will be a bounce. This is why the weather will not deliver any favours to Collingwood, I mean we've had 12 stop plays already in the first quarter, mm. Brisbane excel on these sorts of conditions. Scoreboard favouring Collingwood though at the moment, scores are level, and we've played nine minutes, and they'd like that ball in play, Loney takes it at half back, kicks at the midfield, Boss gets a kick on Buckley, a wobbly ball to half forward, Hart tries to be a little too clever, slapped it on, but Ferris attacks it well, and Hart, he had it on a hand, umpire said he was grabbed when not in possession, handballs to Lecuria, kicks toward Rocker, Mal Michael edges him illegally under the ball, and Anthony Rocker will pump Collingwood inside 50. Two points apiece, we've played 10 minutes, Good chance here, Rocker wide, too wide, Fraser led to the pocket, bad option, and Lepich, Fraser's man, and a takes very, it out of play. And a very poor kick, put it to the boundary, easy to defend, it. you can't do that, you've got to put pressure and put it in the middle of the ground to the talls and, and get some runners in there. Throw in at the 50, Collingwood attacking, it's outside their rooms, Fraser Rucks brings it down, but Pike's got it, he kicks out on the full, under pressure. Free kick to Collingwood, outside the 50, well outside. Freeborn, who kicked goals at this end of the 96 grand final. No one on the mark. He runs to 55, but he hooks his kick going for distance and puts it out on the full free kick to Brisbane in the back pocket. Rodney Eid. Yeah, that Freeborn's playing on Pike on a wing, and they're both giving each other a lot of space. And uh, Pike's got to be very careful of manning up his uh, opponent in Freeborn when the ball gets inside 50. Ashcroft from the back pocket for the Lions. High kick towards half back, Clement and White, McKee, thumps down, Loney nearly had it, Keating knocked it from his grasp, Black's got it but Burns, a brilliant tackle on him, Loney tries to steal but Black takes it out of play, Loney was away, had Black not got a hand on that, and 60 metres from Collingwood's goal, we will get a ball in, just in front of the scoreboard, at the punt road end, in front of the Collingwood players race, it's Collingwood's race this afternoon, Rocker slaps it back of the pack. Clement, hand on ball, couldn't pick it up. Black's got it. Can't find a teammate with a handball. Wobbly kick from Brad Scott, but he finds Clement to Buckley. 60 from goal. Buckley kicks way wide, and it's out of bounds on the full. Pressure hard early. It might not be a pretty game, but it's an intense one and an intoxicating battle at the moment. 12 minutes in. First term, still scores level. Two behinds apiece. Very, very tight. Chris Scott out of the back pocket, goes very wide, very, very wide. It lands just inside the boundary and then over. It hovered above the chalk. There'll be a throw in, clear of the 50 for Collingwood on their left half forward flank, still outside their rooms. They're in the old rooms, the northern stand rooms. Two behinds apiece. After 12 and a half minutes of the first term, Rocker, a bit of pushing and shoving, free kick. Keating's way this time. Rocker won a free kick a minute or so ago for being pushed out of a marking contest this time he gives one away and that looked to be there Clark Keating of whom there's been talk suggesting he might be uh, headed south from Brisbane with some clubs looking for a ruckman Rocker just sags back on the mark allows Keating to come forward he kicks in the brown direction it's almost marked for Collingwood by Burns mopped up by Loney little dab kick just has the carry to find its destination 
Nick Davis, who comes in board, takes on Akamanis, hooks his kick atrociously off the instep, straight to Ashcroft of Brisbane, hand pass to the Brownlow medalist Black, who gives to Lappin, he swings his kick into half forward for the Lions, Daryl White takes the mark of the grand final so far, with a spectacular launch from third in line, he's 75 out, he kicks out on the full, too fancy, too much for Nesson. And a terrible lead by Lynch. I mean, he should have led into the hot spot, and he's led to the boundary. Exactly, and that's against their style all year, is from that spot, put it in, put it into the corridor, and uh, yeah, hopefully they're not just going to play outside their normal game plan. Let's hope Nick Davis doesn't try too much for Nesson with the ball this time in the back pocket like he did a minute ago at half forward. He plays on. Can he get it to McKee? He can't. He finesses. Goes with a short pass. Tarrant makes it look okay. He's on half back. He gets tackled by Hart. Dispossessed. Hart picks up. On attacking 50. Knocks to White. Who knocks to Clement though? Handball finds O'Brien. Looping ball. Johnson of Collingwood. Handball's back to Davis. That's Nick. And this time his kick is precise because it finds the boundary line on the MCC members wing. It's out of play. Obviously, Dwayne, there's a lot of pressure. There's some great chases from both teams. Both teams can't afford to muck around with the ball. Just get the ball on and kick it to the hot spot. And Rain, might, be, might be able to force a goal. Comments from Rodney Ead along with Stan House, Brendan Gale and Mark McClure this afternoon. Ball back into play. MCC members wing and then knock the wobbly ball out of play again. Just the Collingwood side of the members wing. We have played 14 and a half minutes. Scores still level, two behinds apiece. Great to have your company on grandstand. Here's the number one caller in the game, Tim Lane. The rain continues to fall. It is a very damp day. It's knocked to the wing in ruck by Keating. Headland on the end of it. Swings a centering kick cleverly, a skidding kick. Ackermanis knocks it on, but the numbers are against him. Collingwood's Johnson mops up. Tackled, but gets his kick. Not very far. Buckley nearly marks it for the Magpies. And now he soccers it. 30 metres. Magpies have numbers in the middle. Pike makes it a contest. Lecure though, levers it to Freeborn who breaks away, has a daring bounce in the slippery conditions, centres with the left foot, under it, trying to mark for Collingwood to Therese, at the fall Nick Davis, hand pass outside the 50 to O'Brien, quick kick forward, Chris Scott drops a chest mark for Brisbane, has time to mop up, give to Power who clears down the southern side and last year's Norm Smith medalist Sean Hart has the footy, he goes to a one on one, Brown, Prestige Como, Brown gets the handball out but little Leon Davis is over the ball didn't get a push umpire said play on Hart three meter kick to Voss who handles to Lappin caught in a tackle handball but the Leppich's feet bends down stops picks it up tumbles it to half forward rolling ball beats a couple but not McKee oh his kick is terrible three meters and on attacking 50 picked up by Akamanis handballs forward pocket to Lynch misses another behind Three behinds, plays two behinds as we go down to the boundary line. Doc Brookner. First change of the day, Brisbane changing their rucks. Bo McDonald on for Keating. Five misses from five shots. Someone could start to get nervous. Clement puts it into play, has a man loose at 50. It's Freeborn who's had a lot of it early. He kicks from a standing start. Tarrant on the lead, making the spoil Michael. Penalised for pushing him in the back. They haven't paid much of that during the year. That looked a bona fide spoiling attempt, and the umpire blew the whistle. Hardly consistent with the way they have umpired the game. Tarrant into half forward for Fraser. Can't mark. Buckley's got it. A chance. Left foot in the Leon Davis direction. In the Ferris. Chops his teammate off and takes the mark. 30 out directly in front. Buckley's assessment to know on the left foot he was too far out to kick the goal. Yep, and I think obviously Collingwood have been instructed to try and look for a teammate. No, no, he spoke about the space that Brisbane gave. It's interesting with Tarrant. He's on, if you've ever got Chris Scott uh, trying to run them up the ground, Chris Scott just can't go with him. And he was prepared to sag off 40 or 50 metres. So obviously testing his hamstring and, test, and they're obviously going to test his fitness. Who drew Rupert Batheris in the sweep? He comes in from 40 metres out. He kicks the first goal. Or does he? No, he doesn't. They were on their way up. They were trying to persuade the goal umpire. But... Goal umpire Craig Clark was not to be conned. It's three behinds apiece approaching 18 minutes. How do you know it's Craig Clark at the punt road end? Because I know Cos Martino at the other end. <laughs> <laughs> Precision pass, Ashcroft Mark one metre in from the boundary. Back pocket. Goes with a long kick to the other side. But Ferris, good punch down, but the Lions have the crummers. 
off the deck, soccer oh. off the ground by Brad Scott, big oh. crunch, Moss is down, and he's hurt, he's opposite Buckley, picks up, kicks the half forward, Collingwood might pounce here, they've got the loose man, Burns, big hip and shoulder by McDonald, knocks Burns away, but they're tackled well, and it'll be a ball in, 65 metres from Collingwood's goal, and Boss is sore, he is up, he is in the hands of trainers, 18 and a half minutes first term still scores level three behinds apiece he ran at james clement he came off second best lapin from the throw in back of the pack bone down another brisbane player down and looking to be in serious trouble it's mcdonald a pack forms there'll be a bounce and bo mcdonald won't be the ruckman i wouldn't think he hurt his shoulder last week tim and i think he came into this game with that shoulder and Collingwood he hurt player the same down. Way. Collingwood free kick McDonald's shoulder's definitely bad, Tim. Could this be 58 all over again? Brisbane being got in. Burns takes the kick, swings it long. It'll land 20 metres out. Fraser up. The ball spills to the boundary. There'll be a throw-in. Bo McDonald's grand final might be over, Doc Brookner. Yes, it looks like it. He's re-injured that shoulder injured last week. It's like Keating will be on his own for the rest of the game. Well, yeah. the pies aren't certainly aren't uh, they're certainly not intimidated by the uh, the bears at this stage and they're going very well uh good use of the name bears as well mark mcclure thank you sorry well no it's <laughs> nice to hear it fitzroy in defense at the moment can't break free <laughs> and we'll get a collingwood attacking bounce about 30 meters from their goal and he's gone mcdonald he's he's shoulder he just can't lift it at all i reckon he's dislocated that now the ball up inside collingwood's attacking 50 caught by two magpies and that's a sign they've got a sniff collingwood things are going their way the mcdonald's loss is huge i mean keating stamina isn't great mcdonald come on second half last year's grand final played a huge role rocker after the bounce knocks to black one-handed handball by black tackled by burns umpire didn't see it he got his foot, his foot to it yeah 20 minutes in first term still three behinds apiece actually with boss going forward now clemens picked him up buckley doesn't want to go to the goal square and it's left mckee on daryl white rocker the better of it in ruck he's getting tackled the ball spills out near the boundary and leon davis can only take it over we've had 20 and a half minutes i think you'd call it collingwood's quarter and you'd be happy with the boss down there uh, on clemens because uh clemens he'd handle him all right i mean normally can exploit an opposition player boss down there but clemens out of the air tackle the goal here would really give collingwood a surge fraser's got it he swings it to the hot spot lepich gets back takes the swing when he might have marked it's not to the score line by a desperate Brisbane defence for Collingwood's fourth behind. The Magpies lead by a point after 21 minutes. Peter Brookner. Confirming Bo McDonald has dislocated his shoulder. They're taking him into the room to try and get it back into place, but he won't be taking any further part in the game. I think the thing, Tim, with Buckley now in the midfield, it gives Brad Scott a chance now to be able to run with him. So um, I think Brisbane will try and make that move as quickly as possible. Burns is coming off for uh, flood rule. There's an old adage about taking injured players into grand finals. And he definitely hurt that shoulder last week. So Burns replaced by Tarkin Lockyer for his first run of the afternoon. 21 minutes on the clock and Collingwood in front by the narrowest of margins. But they won't mind if they're in front by that margin at the end of the game. It's four points to three points. Long kick in from fullback. Pikes mark magnificent on Deferis at halfback flank. In front of what was called Bay 13 when Collingwood last won a flag here. Long kick by Pike towards half forward. Brown, good punch by Prestige Como. Buckley just slapped it back of the pack instead of taking it on. White had it. He was tackled. And all of a sudden, Collingwood players are around the ball as if they've got 22 men on the field to Brisbane's 18. What? what Buckley's done he's gone to Darrell White now what Darrell White should do is go to the goal square McKee knocks it clear for Collingwood but there's a Brisbane free kick and it will be taken by Keating a ruck infringement Keating just four to the centre the rain has subsided for the moment kick to within about 30 of goal Wakelin in good pos he could almost have marked but wisely went the double fister out to the 50 running onto a Johnson of Collingwood twists away from goal gives to Clement disciplined defense by Collingwood long ball to the wing and Bethuris Collingwood on the build-up they had flooded back and they now have to get forward inside to Steinford 
Good move this. Not a great kick though. Terrible kick. Straight to Pike, who's had a fair bit of it. The two-time Premiership player gives to Lappin. Goes out wide. Unattended Lynch, but he's come a long way up the ground. Has the ball on the centre line. Over the top, Chris Johnson running forward. Takes the mark. 75 from goal. Wants to move it quickly. Stabbing past. Doesn't quite reach Darrell White. Ben Johnson knocked it off and then gets pushed in the back and will take a free kick for Collingwood as we can even see a glimpse of blue sky and that for Brisbane might be a welcome sign. Collingwood spam man MCC member side. One of them Fraser takes the mark, runs on. Can he hit a target? Tarrant set a half forward. has got it. Too far out to score. The leads come. Collingwood have some one-on-ones. Full forward. He can go long to Rocker or short back to Fraser who's got it. 55 from goal. Maybe just beyond his range, he's caught to play on. Can handle to Batheris. He can run to 45 almost. He runs to 52. High kick to the goal square. Rockers under it. Flies. One grab, not the second. Chris Scott tackled by Tarrant. Gets a push in the back. Free kick. They're back paying, pocket. They're protecting the ball player like they, they haven't done all year. In that last bit of play, just shows where you can expose Brisbane a little bit. They All the defenders want to sit back by themselves, block space, and Collingwood use the ball pretty well until that last kick. Collingwood four points, Brisbane three points, 24 and a half minutes first term. Chris Scott, defensive goal square, sneaks out into the back pocket, kicks to Brown, who's well tied up by Preston Giacomo, neither getting a hand onto it. Lappin sockers it onto the wing for Brisbane. Hart arrives under his helmet. O'Bree does well to edge him off the footy. Loney finishes it for Collingwood by taking the ball over the line. We might have a goalless opening quarter. We've had 25 minutes, no goal, won't be a lot of time left. Peter Bruckner on the boundary. Didak on for Leon Davis. Couple of minutes left on the clock, ball back into play, White. Slaps to the back of the pack, Steinford, Brown, they all go in hard, so too Preston Giacomo. Brown threw it out and the umpire saw it through a needle eye opening. He just saw that throw and McKee gets the free for Collingwood. Burns calls for it. So too Fraser providing early. Got a hand to it. Couldn't mark it. Might crumb it. Does. Thinks about a handball to Buckley. Spins around. Kicks to Lecuria. 55 metres from goal. Good opportunity this for Collingwood. Lecuria. Too far out to score. Short pass. Rocker. One grab. Two. He's got it. And he is within range. A long way out. 45 metres out. Tough angle. About three metres in from the boundary. But you would think Anthony Rocker would have a shot. He would know surely. 26 minutes on the clock. He knows what the score is. He knows in these conditions the value of each individual goal. He throws grass in the air. Every eye in this stadium on Anthony Rocker. He will kick from the paint. Drop punt. He brings it back. He brings it back. Goal! And it doesn't get much better than that. Pressure. Timing. Context. He's kicked some good ones. But he kicks the first goal of the 2002 Grand Final. And we would expect him to. He's a magnificent kick and uh, everyone on the ground wanted a goal to come and it did. But what an opening we've had. We've had a fantastic opening. Seven points, the ball thrown up in the centre by Steve McBurney. Scotland had it for a moment for Collingwood. His kick was an air swing. Brisbane swarm and they tie the ball up. There will be another ball up. Peter Brooker. Scotland for Lecuria. Any sign of discomfort for Lecuria? No, I just rested, I think. Ball up, push and shove. Keating wins, but Buckley steals. Collingwood forward again. Michael of Brisbane makes the spoil. Headland over the ball. Can't grab it cleanly on the first go. Pateras does for Collingwood. Gives to Freeborn over the top power with tremendous courage for Brisbane. With the flight, Didak coming the other way. But power with eyes not leaving the ball takes the mark. Comes inside with a courageous little kick to Lappin who dabs it down to Pike. All this still inside the defence of 50. He's got a long option, Michael, but it's been chopped off by Rocker, so Pike goes back. 
deliberates and now will kick long as Brown starts to go for him to the wing. A runner has to dive under the ball. Shane Kerrison. It's picked up for Collingwood by Presta Giacomo. Hand pass inside to Burns. Thumping kick inside the 50. Josh Fraser from behind. Lepic the big spoil to Lappin to Pike who's had a very good first quarter. Hand pass to Keating. Back to the running Pike who reaches the centre and kicks long inside an open 50. Voss and Clement. Clement subdues him. Lynch arrives for Brisbane but Clement takes it over the boundary line Go in at quarter time with a lead there is 25 seconds left can the Lions get a late one ball to the goal square Loney slaps it toward the goal line and drags it through for a defensive behind 29 minutes on the clock and virtually 18 with a little chip to Wakeland now Brisbane got time just seconds left and the Magpies probably know that Shane Wakeland takes his time, takes a lot of time, and runs the clock down. Now he runs across the goal face, into the square, and thumps it long over to the southern side. Very good kick. And a very good quarter by the underdogs to open this 2002 grand final. Collingwood lead Brisbane by a goal. And the signs are there that they are right in this match. Collingwood 1 4 10, Brisbane 4 behind. The Lord half for the Lions. Kick smothered off the boot beautifully. Gathered by Voss. He took it off Clemens' boot. Kicked them inside 50. The Lions. Headlands over it. Top of the goal square. Pack forms. And the umpire will bounce. What a beautiful smother and gather. And we'll get a bounce 20 metres out from the Lions' goal. Dr. Bruckner, another move. Yes, Craig McRae on for Daryl White for the Lions. Big pack around this ball up. The umpire, umpire James decides to toss it in the air. Lynch slaps down. Buckley knocked it to his own advantage. He's over it. He's got it. He's tackled. Voss, his man, tries to steal. Buckley gets a free. Great one-on-one -on -one battle that. To lick the lips for everyone here. Two champions going head-to-head. -head. Nathan Buckley in the middle with Michael Voss. Chips laterally from between fullback and halfback out to McKee still in the 50 goes to Presta Giacomo doesn't carry to him he fumbles he gets it he gives it off but they've lost it now and Brisbane are a bit of a chance McRae brought down push in the back free kick to Brisbane just outside the 50 off the bench between quarters McRae loads up kicks long kicks badly but Lynch will mark it just inside the boundary line he marked it a whisker inside now he's on the impossible angle in the right forward pocket. He starts his run from against the fence. Does he bend it back? New ball at the start of the quarter. He might try and curl it back. He's holding it across the body. He comes in. He bends it. He kicks a behind. Brisbane have missed. I don't know whether they've missed five times. There's been at least one rush, but they have five behinds. Collingwood have one for ten. Two minutes second term. Good kicking is good football and poor kicking is contagious. 0-5 for the Bears. Doesn't help them. Loney kicks to himself from full back. Then long in the McKee direction. Forced to punch. Does well. Punches in Buckley's direction on the wing. Gathered in turn by Brad Scott but he got the handle to Didak. Long kick to half forward for Collingwood. Tarrant from behind. Manhandled Chris Scott. And the umpire saw it. Chris Scott free kick between half back and back pocket. Collingwood kicking to the city end in this second term, which is three minutes old. Chris Scott to power to Ashcroft. They work it to the MCC members' side. Chip kicked to Pike. Now he's under pressure. He half volleyed it. He gets crunched. He kicks, and Lepich, a rare possession, takes it on the wing. How many touches, Jack? As Lepich chips toward Johnson. That's his second. Johnson of the Lions, of course. Chris, 80 from goal. Long kick, Lynch rises, can't mark. Black tries to crumb, plays for a free kick against Wakeland. Burns picks up, finds the boundary line and will get a ball in about 48 metres from the Brisbane Lions goal. Three minutes played, second term, 1-4 plays five behinds, Collingwood lead. I, I would think with the ruck situation with Brisbane that White's gone to the bench and he'll do some ruck work. Brown rucking here against McKee of Collingwood, who gets a fist onto the ball, knocks it away from goal. Clement soccers it further away. Keating of Brisbane, the big man, first there. Tunnels it through his legs. Collects it, did it well. Gives to Voss. Hurried kick, will land well. Ackermanis inside the 50, takes the mark. Oh, and kicks in a hurry, and kicks out on the ball. And that was a panicky, poor decision.
decision. I'm not too sure about panicky. I think he's just got a bit of leer in him. I just think he just tried to be too tricky. He's just uh, all he had to do is stick to the basics. Do well, the basics well, Robert. In conditions like did. this, it was a silly thing to do. Clement takes it out of the back pocket. Lovely long kick in the Lecuria direction against Brad Scott. Arriving for Collingwood as O'Brie and Sockers at 45 metres around the southern wing. Didac versus Power. Power's been good, but he's ambitious here and he's dispossessed. And the ball is eventually forced over the line for a throw in. Collingwood side of the southern wing as the Magpies go to the city end. Four and a quarter minutes in. Collingwood lead 114 to five behinds. Trend of the game has been set. I think we're in for a close one. Ball back into play. Headland on the wing. Hasn't had a lot of it either. Wobbles it to half forward. Akamanis goes with the knock on. Presta Giacomo thumps it, but straight to Black. Bad option. Black to Headland. And he takes the mark on 50. Presta Giacomo had the option of taking possession and taking them on. And went for the thump. Headland tucked into the pocket. Goes toward the goal square. Lynch flies. Can't mark. Who can crumb it first? McRae slaps it to Hart. That was a good knock. Hart kicks Brisbane's first goal. They're on the board. And they lead. Five minutes in. Second term. By Bahan. Well, you can certainly see in these first five minutes. Pocket Ford lapping to Headland to the Brownlow medalist Black. Hand pass to Brad Scott. Quick kick to full forward, but Wakeland did well on Lynch. He outread the flight of the ball. He took the mark, and now Lynch is on the deck. Still on the deck. Holding his ribs. He's the holding his ribs. He's spoken he's... to Wakeland. He hasn't oh, given a yeah. free kick. Wakeland takes it and bangs it clear and finds McKee who can play on and reach the wing. Collingwood turned grim defence into attack. It towards half forward. Fraser can't mark. He's got it though. He gives to Loney. He can kick them from there. From on the 50. Long ball. Stays in playoff hands. Out near the boundary. The Wayne Harms pocket. The boundary umpire calls it out. There'll be a throw in. I bet the boundary umpire that day wished he had a goal umpire like this one here who saw that out and signalled to the boundary umpire that it was so. Ball back into play. Forward pocket for Collingwood. They are looking strong, even though they trail. Pike picks up, gives to power. Long kick to the wing. 11 plays 10. Brisbane Lions lead and Burns takes a good mark on the wing. Seven minutes in, second term. Alistair Lynch talked for a long time with Still umpire James. It. Still is, yes, saying you saw that and you didn't give it. Inboard, short kick Burns to uh, O'Brie, whose kick's cut off, but Lecuria mops up, gives to Burns. Brisbane flooding back here. Burns kicks down the flank to Ben Johnson. Little left foot dab inside, but Hart doing very well in another grand final. Takes the mark and now switches to uh, the southern flank where Brisbane have the numbers. Brad Scott long for Headland to run onto the ball. Four to the wing. Brisbane on a sudden build. An open 50. Long ball. Lynch up. Ackermanis waits down. Lynch might crumb his own ball. He's got it. He's well tackled by Wakeland, who knocks the ball away out to the boundary. Throw in, right forward pocket, 30 metres around. Brisbane attacking again. That's one matchup that Des Hedlund um, has to work because Steinford hasn't got much pace, but what he did very well then, created space for himself. They kicked it into the space and Steinford can't keep up. Lynch forced to do the ruck work. Knocks down to Lappin. Kick high towards the goal square. Presage Como runs with a flight. Bounces unkindly for him. Tries to take it. Does brilliantly in the end. Presti with a big long launch to midfield. But Chris Johnson was there. And he takes the mark for the Lions. Short pass. Hoping for. Finds Voss. Too far out to score. He pumps it with a torpedo. Back long to the pocket. Lynch under it. Marks. Free kick free against kick. him. He's going to be well, furious. Well, he it's has the same umpire, Matthew James. He slapped Wakeland on the side of the head. How did you see it, gentlemen? You're seeing the replay right now. Oh, oh that's soft. weak as water. Soft. <laughs> Absolutely weak as water. I reckon water. there's three occasions Lynch has been hard done by, yep. and if they want to do that, okay, be consistent. That was not a free kick. Yes. It's just, they've, 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 been, they've paid the ball player all day, made it hard to win free kicks fine, but that one was really should not have been paid. He's got to settle now, though. He's normally non plussed Alistair Lynch. Doesn't let those sorts of things worry him. I've never seen him talk to an umpire for so long. Well, he ought to talk to him about that one. <laughs> 
He's got to get on with it. It was a stage, and uh, umpire James bought the bait. He's had a bad few minutes in this quarter. Collingwood clear, but Michael takes a mark for Brisbane on the wing. It was a great effort, pipe. wasn't it? M Michael punched the ball and then marked his punch. Chips inside to Lappin, who's having plenty of it. He had it seven times in the first quarter. I think he'd be double figures now, Jack. He goes back wide. He is double figures to Lepic. A hand pass to Hart. The Terrier runs to 55. Short pass to Voss, who takes it well. Strong hands with a slippery ball. With playing against Brisbane, you can't afford to flood. Collingwood now still a little bit tired, so they just push extra nose back in the 50. And Brisbane, and you're allowing the ball carrier, the bloke with the footy, too much space, too much time to deliver it. They've got too much... The, the pressure in the first quarter was terrific because they went one-on-one -on -one and blocked all their space. Here's Voss. 40 metres out. Kick on its way. He misses by a long way on the near side. Just scores are behind. Brisbane dominating play in the first 10 minutes of this quarter, but just for one goal. They lead by two points. 1-6, Collingwood 1-4. Down the middle of the ground. High kick, McKee. Keating comes, punches. McKee almost marked it. Burns a chance, but Black gets there first. Gathers, gets to Lappin, another possession, and a decisive one. He finds Brown in the corridor. He can run all the way to 50. He spears a pass in Lynch's direction instead. Lynch plays the man, ball to the back of the pack, and it's out of play, forward pocket for the Lions. Was there a free kick against Lynch there? No, it was their ball usage was poor. It was, I think. It was terrible, just terrible ball, ball terrible. usage. He's got the ball in the middle of the ground, running free, and he does. He kicks it to a pocket. 1-6 yeah. plays 1-4, 10 minutes in, second term. Throw in, Wakeland and Lynch push and shove. Lynch got him out of the contest and then couldn't snare the ball. The Magpies soccer it clear, but straight to Brown of Brisbane. Gives to Brad Scott, swinging, squaring kick. Big fist by the Collingwood defence, accurate two. Burns comes away with it, but he's kicked poor. Chris Johnson runs onto it for Brisbane. Got to fight for it. Got it now from 60. Kicks off the side of the boot. No one can mark it. Wakeland knocks it clear for Collingwood. To Betheris. He swapped. It's picked up by Black. Sidestep one. Lines them up. Goes for goal. Freeborn gets back. And knocks it through for a Brisbane behind. Simon Black just not getting enough on the kick. Brisbane one seven thirteen. Collingwood one four ten. 11 and a half minutes second term. Collingwood have scarcely crossed the centre. Clement, long, precise kick in to Loney, who can launch the ball long as well. Tarrant tells Fraser to call up. And Fraser now runs and leads to Loney, who puts it in front of him, hits his chest. Lepic got a hand in there. Make that a fist. He slapped it over the boundary line. Well played. It's out of play. About 80 metres from Brisbane's goal. Uh, they, you can tell us, Dan Engineer, the intensity of Brisbane has really picked up this quarter. Their pressure has been fantastic. They're winning the loose ball. They've just, just did the game up a notch. Lions by three points. Ball back into play. Keating in ruck. He'll have to do a lone job this afternoon with Bo McDonald now injured. And the ball out of play again in front of the ruckman. This time about 70 metres from Brisbane's goal. For it coming, he sharks it, he swings it, goal, but Buckley got back, dropped the mark he should have taken, Wakeland's got it, tackled ruthlessly, dispossessed, ball loose, dangerous for Collingwood, they mop up, Ben Johnson to Buckley, they're off the hook again, kick on the bounce to Freeborn, between halfback and centre, sweeps a hand pass to Loney, from behind the middle, kicks well, marked by Didak, a long way from goal, just forward of the centre, his forward start to go, Fraser points to where he's going that's where he goes and Fraser takes the mark and is met and is down and is in trouble but I fancy that so too is Chris Johnson in more ways than one it's a 50 metre penalty it's a certain goal to Collingwood both Fraser and Johnson are hurt pack of players milling around them Fraser's on his feet Johnson's on his feet. Don't know that there's a report. He arrived late because Fraser took the mark. And you'd think that that would be scrutinised and if there's a draw today, it could be a factor next week. And this is shades of 58. It's getting willing. Fraser will kick a goal. He'll put Collingwood back in front. And put the ball into the top deck of the soon to be no longer WH Ponsford stand. Collingwood 2-4-16. Brisbane 1-7-13 to the umpire. McKee turned his back into White. White gets the free from the ruck contest. 
long to full forward. Voss down there, couldn't get a run at it. Picked up by McRae, high bomb towards the goal square. Diving Voss, can't get there to mark, it's a behind. 15 minutes on the clock, second term. If you've just joined us, Collingwood led at quarter time by 10 points. At the moment, they lead by two, and we've played 15, second quarter. Peter Brooker on the boundary. Yes, Keating came off just then for uh, for White, and uh, Lockyer is on for free. Johnson in the back pocket. Given the big job on Ackham Manus, he swings a high left footer. Not a great kick that, just clears the 50. Tarrant in front, can't mark. Brisbane had the crummers, no takeaway though. Magpies tie it up. Not uh, totally though, and Pike's got it now for Brisbane. From inside 50, he blazes, he misses everything. And they have hurried a number of shots. He didn't have much time then, but like McRae, only about 40 seconds earlier, hurried his kick. I think then, Tim, uh, there was two or three options for a, for a quick handball. If he'd be able to release that, if he'd be able to see his options, uh, I'm sure they would have scored a goal. Wakeland kicks short dangerously. Clement has to take it over the boundary line for a throw-in at the 50. It's the fifth time, incidentally, that Brisbane have kicked out on the full in the match so far. 16 minutes in, second term, Collingwood lead by two points. Back into play, 50 from the Lions goal. Brown doing the right work with McKee. Buckley lays the tackle, and Black is going nowhere. But the black and white is going somewhere at the moment. Again, tossed in the air. McKee v Brown. Over the ball, McKee after the knockdown gets it to Buckley. Collingwood to the wing. Nick Davis, manhandled by Ashcroft. Oh, he shrugs him with arrogance and strength. Long kick. Fraser and Rocker both are down there. Back of the pack. Can Fraser pounce? Forward pocket. About 40 from goal. Michael comes at him. Umpire's found a free here somewhere. There's a free kick against free kick to Rocker against oh, Scott. It's a downfield free kick to Collingwood's Rocker against Brad Scott. Yeah, Brad Scott pushed his head down after he made the tackle and really put some pressure on Davis. And as the ball went forward, they gave a free kick up forward. Well, unusual. This, this kick to give Collingwood their biggest lead equally of the game so far. Oh no, eight points it'll be. Sorry, they led by ten at quarter time. Rocker lines up. 16 plays, 14, and Rocker kicks his second. It's an eight-point lead, 17 and a half minutes in, second term, 3-4-22. Plays 1-8-14. All black. Gives it to Akamenis, scrambles a left foot kick, which bounces towards the 50. Hart arrives, but Wakeland comes the other way for Collingwood. Does very well. Dogged defence. Gives to Johnson of Collingwood. Hand pass to Lecuria, who fumbles. Akamenis arrives. Lecuria lays a good tackle. Black of Brisbane mops up. Hand pass to Power, who's got three against him. Burns of Collingwood. Gives to Lecuria. To Betheris. Clever centering kick for... Scotland oh, can't man. mark McRae. Yes, McRae marks. Arrived, took it off Scotland, who protests, mm -hmm. saying he got first hands. Hand pass to Chris Scott, who finds his twin brother with a beautiful kick. And Brad kicks long with the left foot to full forward, but Clements out marks Michael Boss. And Collingwood are playing with poison confidence. Wide ball, Didac v Headland. Good battle. Half back, Didac sort of wins. He picked it up, but then he kicked it out of bounds on the full. And he got a free kick for a push as he was kicking, Didac. So on the southern stand wing, he did win that battle. Alan Didac. I'll be all watching in his little hometown of Paraka as he kicks long to half forward. Loney. Good mark against McCray. They are playing with some confidence at the moment, Collingwood. This is his eighth possession. Long kick by Loney, wide kick to half forward, Buckley waits under it, Fraser comes hard, Michael takes it out of play, and we'll get a ball in. Wins in ruck, Ackermanis tries a little paddle to a teammate, gets a free kick. Brisbane just not able to get anything going yet in the match, had heaps of the ball, far more of it in their attacking zone, but Collingwood lead them by eight points. And uh, it's a significant margin in a low-scoring game. Ackermanis goes wide, but umpire McBurney says he also went early and that the ball should come back. Lappin, who marked it, carries it back, hoping he might be able to take a little hand pass. For now, Ackermanis ignores him. Takes a long time. Kicks with the left foot. 
out towards the wing. White climbs high for Brisbane Catmark. Brown with brute strength, wins the footy, breaks away, kicks to an open 50. Lynch behind at the fall, will have to fight on, dives. Wakeland goes with him, Wakeland's doing well. There'll be a bounce or a ball up on the point of the 50. And centre half forward for Brisbane. Collingwood 3 4 22. The Lions 1 8 14, 21 minutes second term. Yes, if Alistair Lynch goes in goalless at halftime, Shane Wakeland is a half away from something spectacular. Ball up, kicked out of the air by Burns to the midfield. But Akamanis, who tripped over his own foot, he gets caught, ducks into a tackle. Umpire said it was his own doing, picked up by Chris Scott. What was the ball towards Voss? Big hip and shoulder by Burns on Voss. Knocks him down, play on says the umpire. Voss bounce up, pick is up, gives it to Black. Goal to Black. Voss, you're a legend. Super goes players. Up to Burns oh, super player. And lets him know. Burns, Burns had him lined up, cleaned him up. Ross took the bump, got, uh, hit the ground, then got straight up and won the next position. Just sensational. What about Agamanis in the middle? Some big oh. plays there with their big players when they're some big plays. And they need to be in the game. Yeah. They put Agamanis yeah. on the ball, they've got Voss on the ball, they've got all their big guns on the ball and uh, it's made a difference. We've well, got to put Voss on ball. He's not doing anything down Who backhands at Collingwood's way. Rocker does well to make a contest. And another one against Brad Scott. Lions get some numbers there and they get a free kick between halfback and centre. Michael to take it. Has a look sideways. Sees Chris Scott on his own over on the MCC side. He goes there just on the edge of the corridor. Scott marks it. Now dabs to power and puts him in space, he puts his head down, he runs, he has a bounce, crosses the wing, kicks ambitiously to White, but it was precision, a hand pass to the still running power, who goes to Lynch's lead, he tries to flick an inboard to Sean Hart, who soccers from the boundary, and nearly does the impossible. It's a behind, and the margin is one point, Collingwood 3-4-22, Brisbane 2-9-21, 23 and a half in, Peter Bruckner. Keating back on for White now, in the ruck for Brisbane. And he's kicked straight to Brown, 60 metres out, pumps it back. His kick just as bad. It was to Wakeland. And Shane Wakeland, who's playing well, took the mark at full back. 24 minutes on the clock now, second term. Four minutes left in the half. Pushing and shoving off the ball. Wakeland heads toward Burns and Steinford. Burns takes it out of play with a little bit of an assistance from a black spoil. And we'll get a ball in 55 metres from the Lions goal. 21 play. Hand and knocks it into the corridor, close to goal. Buckley dives, hand passes even closer to Brisbane's goal. It's in the square now and it's forced through by a desperate James Clement and scores after a quarter and 25 minutes are level. Brisbane 2 10 22, Collingwood 3 4 22. That close grand final we've craved. But Scotland from half back towards the wing. High kick and Brown. Rocker edged out of the contest by Michael legally. And Jonathan Brown. Warnable boy playing on the big stage. He dreamt of playing on for a long time. Gives to power. Long kick towards full forward. Wakeland and Lynch. Wakeland wins again. Doesn't mark it though. Fumbles. And accidentally kicks a defensive behind. Lions lead with 25 and a half minutes on the clock second term. Long and beautifully finds Loney clear of the 50 comes in board and delivers neatly to Steinford hand pass to Buckley who's playing a fine captain's game a lovely long kick could set up Burns he takes the sliding mark he was on the ground when he took it so he has to pick himself up he has Didac, he also has Lockyer who takes the mark 40 out, slight angle he's a good kick Often entrusted with the kick in, and this is a chance. Was on Rocker, and all of a sudden got shifted onto Lockyer without time to get on him, I don't think. Lockyer comes in close to half time to give Collingwood the lead, and that's what he's done. Well, I, think, I think what happened there, Dwayne, is that uh, as we're talking about the, uh, the Brisbane defence just zone off a bit. Johnson was responsible for Lockyer in front of the ground and Rocker was actually all by himself and Michael went up to cover for him. Collingwood 4-4-28, Brisbane 2-11-23. 20. from Fraser, Headland inside 50, power there on half forward at the moment, handles to Lappin, runs inside 50 and misses. Under limited pressure, there is 
no passages of play where there's no pressure in a grand final, but that was all psychological and not physical. Two goals, 12, plays 4-4. 28 minutes second term. That was their most straightforward shot of the day. In this quarter, the entries to the 50, Brisbane 17, Collingwood 8. The Magpies have kicked three goals to two. Five, but he's got Burns wide and short, much safer. That's where he goes. Still inside the 50. Brisbane with the ball in their attacking half late in the quarter, less than two minutes to go. And needing a goal to win the lead back. And a bad kick here from Burns. Doesn't carry Headland, who marks, comes in board, kicks to Brown, and the big man oh, takes that's the mark. Be 50. Goes down. The spillage is mopped up by Hart, by McRae, who kicks a goal, and Brisbane are back in front. Brown's OK. You'd need a sledgehammer in each hand. I don't know. He's no good. I don't oh, think he's, he's, any good at all. he's no good at all. He's uh, got a very heavy knock to the head. And, uh... Well, maybe someone did have a sledgehammer in each hand. Fortunately for Brisbane, it's oh. nearly half time. Scott Burns was the fast arriving player. Brisbane lead by two points. 3 12 30. Collingwood 4 4 28. More importantly, Tim was one of the few times this quarter Brisbane have actually put in a dangerous position. I don't know how many times. I mean, they've gone in 17 times this quarter. I think I've seen three guys kick torpedoes that have gone off the side of the boot, out the boundary, indirectly. That was down the centre in a dangerous position. They go. Bounce are underway and Lappin gets the takeaway. Wide ball for the Lions. Bouncing ball, McRae, Clement Foss takes it, kicks long, Lynch finally gets hands on ball with Wakeland nowhere to be seen. Look where the kick went, Brendan. Yep, and great support by Lukey Power. A real subtle little shepherd, just kept his man off Lynch. He's had a great quarter yeah, power. Yes, and great team football. And that last goal that, uh, that the Lions got, the Des Headlands kick, he actually meant to kick it a three-quarter kick. He, did, he could have bombed it, wouldn't have made the distance, saw that he just dropped it short. And it, it, it just a smarter kick and that was a very smart kick as well there is less than a minute to travel in the second term and Alistair Lynch kicks his first and the Lions are out to their biggest lead 30 minutes on the clock second term 36 plays 28 4-12 plays 4-4 I think that uh, the setup of Brisbane now is much better. You've got power up forward with Akamanis. We've got two tall forwards. I think that they've put Brown the full forward, uh, who's really sort of given him a bit of a lift. And Lynch has gone out to centre half forward for a while to take Wakeland away from that area where he's been killing them. They've actually just had enough. They've sat. We've had enough of this Collingwood, and they've really just put the foot down and started to take over, take control. Just that last five minutes it hasn't rained in this quarter. But the weather is building up again. Brisbane by eight points. Dying seconds of the half. Keating the tap for the Lions, who are starting to dominate in the middle. Lappin helps it to Voss. Kick goes nowhere. But to Loney of Collingwood. Hand pass to Buckley. Last hurrah for the Magpies. Out wide for Tarrant. A jostle. He goes to ground. Brisbane look as though they're going to tie it up. Pack. Umpire lets it go for a bit. He will ball it up with Collingwood fans hoping that he might have water holding the ball. We've crossed 31 minutes. Simon Black free kick, trouble. free kick to Collingwood with 15 seconds in the quarter remaining. Jared Malloy. He sucked him into that one, oh. Jared Malloy. Lepich is not happy. And having a look at a replay, I can understand why. That's it, a terrible decision. He just fell over, Malloy. Well, he's act, Malloy has actually dragged Lepish with his hand down. Comes in, kicks badly. It'll land on the edge of the goal square. Plenty of fists up there. Still danger. Didak, hand pass. Scotland, great smother by Michael. And the spillage to Ackermanis. A brilliant save by Brisbane. Long left footer. Out to the wing. Power. Capping off a great quarter. Has the footy on the siren. Brisbane go in. Eight points in. stirring hour of football at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Brisbane 4-12-36. Well, Lead Collingwood 4-4-28 and there is a skirmish and in fact Steve McBurney almost came off worst in it. The umpires a little more lightly built than most of the players these days. Chris Scott actually chased Malloy all the way uh, up there trying to have a go at him and uh, that, that's been the problem. Well, Melbourne were got in back in 1958. We keep raising the spectre of that one. Collingwood went in at halftime that day and Fonskine said to them, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. Well, Collingwood today will go in eight points behind, but they're well in touch. Brisbane 4-12-36, Collingwood 4-4-28, and Brisbane's wonderful composure 
has just on occasions been a little shaken in this match so far. In that term, Brisbane kicked four goals eight to the punt road end and Collingwood kicked three straight. It was 12 shots to three. The entries to the 50 in the end, Jack, were about 18... 19-9. 19-9. The booze are for the Bears or the Lions. The boys from Brisbane as they head to their rooms on the southern side, but that's to be expected because they're in hostile territory even though they do have banks of supporters in various outposts around the ground. Or is it for the men in white? Oh, maybe a oh. little bit of both, but I reckon the maroon and blue got their share. I, I think on that point, Dwayne, that, uh, I mean, you hate to be critical of umpires in their first in their first game, but uh, number five, Matthew James, he's had a shortcut. <laughs> you, you're obviously not coaching next them. year then. <laughs> <laughs> Just to feel sorry, but I mean, that one there of Malloy giving that free kick and then not paying Alistair Lynch up the other yeah. end. I mean, but it just, you talk about consistency, and you always say, well, there's three umpires, so it might be different interpretations, but it's the same um, umpire, just being poles apart in his interpretation. Well, Gale. Just an interesting little byplay then. The Collingwood huddle didn't wait for the last four or five players. There was a little posse of Tarrant and, and uh, Lecuria and Fraser. Um, they were last off, and the huddle normally accumulated at the bottom of the race and got off together, but they actually went off straight away. They didn't even wait for them. And, you know, they were a good probably 50, 60 metres behind and just jogged off. It just makes you wonder, you know, they're probably that dirty on themselves. They just want to get off and, you know, just not thinking collectively. It was just odd to see. M Mick Malthouse corrals them like a sheepdog yeah. just pushing the sheep through the gate. He, he just chases them in. It's like those ones that dance over their backs, <laughs> isn't he? Almost like that. There was one telling moment just late in that quarter, that Mel Michael front on smother mm. was just magnificent. Saved a goal. And that's what, in the end, wins it, wins football matches. It really does win football matches. Desperate defence, front on smother, difficult to do, and in the end, that'll make the difference. Half time. We'll take a break. I think we're going to have rain during the interval, but it looks a little brighter. So hopefully, at about the time the ball is tossed up for the start of the second half, uh, the weather might clear. Brisbane 4 12 36 lead Collingwood 4 4 28. Rocket Matthew James did last year's. He's actually oh, doing his second, second oh, straight. Right. He's a oh, rising, no excuses then, Tim. rising star among the umpires' <laughs> ranks, but uh, he hasn't had his best day of the season, you would think, in the first half of this game. So perhaps uh, a chance for him to uh, go through a bit of self appraisal at the interval. 4 12 to 4 4. For Brisbane, the goals all kicked in that quarter came from McRae off the bench at quarter time. Black, Hart and Lynch. And for Collingwood, Rocker has two with singles kicked in that quarter by Lockyer and Fraser. Brisbane by eight points, 4-12-36, Collingwood 4-4-28. We'll take a break from the MCG, just a brief one for some news headlines, and then we'll be back to summarise the first half and talk about what might be in front of us in the second. Right now to the newsroom and Jim Graham. Collingwood's way. Jonathan Brown ran in from centre half forward. It's Rocker's ball. The man on the mark, 70 metres out. Does he have a go? He kicks very long. Very, very long to the goal square. Lepic got a finger onto it. It Pushing nearly fell for Josh Fraser. But there's a Brisbane free kick in the last line of defence. And it will be taken by Chris Scott in the jaws of Collingwood's goal at the pump road end. Goes wide and Clement has over there and Buckley is there to it Buckley stops it, picks it up kicks high towards the top of the square Fraser flies, Ash drop gathered by Fraser, Collingwood fighting hard, they're calling for holding the ball they don't get it there'll be a ball up just outside the goal square one minute in, third term 28 plays, 36 with Defy up, winning the big race in Sydney, the George Main ball up, Keating knocks it down Nick Davis, crunched 
They might rush it through. Oh, Rocker could pounce here. Lappin overran it. It's all in the goal square. Fraser steals it. Can't get a kick away. Free kick. Push. Oh, no way. Fraser gets a free kick for being pushed at the top of that the square. That was a shocking decision. A disgrace. He took him sideways. I can't believe it. It's a disgrace. Let's have a look who the umpire is. Oh, boy. Umpire number five. Have a look at the replay. He rode him forward. You reckon? Oh. Didn't look like it from here with the naked eye, but he lunged forward into his back. He wrapped yeah, his yeah, arms yeah, around But him the and thing is, Lepich's knees hit the ground first, and he was trying to drag him, so I don't reckon his force took him forward. Fraser kicks. I probably don't need to tell you. <laughs> the first goal of the second half to Collingwood. And it's back to a two-point ball game. Two minutes in third term. The Lions still lead. But the pies are coming. Well, that came from a free kick in the middle of the ground, and you can't do undisciplined acts in this in this competition. If you want to do an undisciplined act, wait until you go outside the ground because this has cost them a goal from that from the centre bounce. Went forward, and all of a sudden an attack in the goal square. And who, who cares if it's right or wrong? It was a goal in the end of the day. Succession of mistakes, really. An ambitious kick from the last line from Chris Scott, and then Lappin fumbled, fumble. fumbled the ball when it came back in, and uh, Brisbane really got what they deserved. The margin is back to two points. Keating beats McKee here. Knocks it to Voss who knocks it on to Lappin. Chance to atone from 65. Kicks long. Lynch in the goal square. A classical Brisbane move. Quick takeaway from the middle. Well done Clark Keating who got it down. Voss knocked it creatively. Lappin kicked long and Lynch took the mark. And now should finish it off with a goal. As good as Shane Wakeman's played, no one will beat Alistair Lynch in a situation like that. One on one, just too strong. Only the slightest of angles from 10 metres out, he puts Brisbane eight points in front again. 5-12 to 5-4, three and a half minutes third term. Well, it was exactly what Brisbane wanted because they had to make up for, for all the things that we talked about, the, the, the undisciplined act, the errors and the fumble by Lappin. Um, but they responded in the way a good side does. Uh, got straight back and uh, got on the bike and uh, didn't worry about it and kicked the goal. From, from Collingwood's perspective, that's not what they wanted because they really wanted to press home that advantage, but they wouldn't, weren't able to do so. But, and this is what we've seen throughout this course of this game. I, I think one of the things that, uh, that really adds to this game is that both sides are very, very competitive. You can take nothing for granted. Bounce in the middle. Collingwood playing with a loose man in defence at the moment. Free kick in the middle. Up by James says... You can have it, Licker, and Lecuria has got it. Four minutes in, third term. Lecuria held up, now goes long. High kick, Rocker the target, flies, gathers. Great mark, Anthony Rocker. He read that so well, two lines behind him ran into each other. It was great play, Dwayne, because uh, Anthony Rocker's gone to the ruck and he's playing Clark Keating on his terms. Uh, uh, yeah, but what, hap yeah, what happened there, McKee started back behind the yep. play as a loose man so Michael yep. was free and that there should be a bit more communication that Michael goes straight to Rocky you know he's going to play forward and Clark Keating should walk it watch out for McKee so we didn't have all that many goals in the first quarter one in the first term eight in the first half but we might have three within the first five minutes of the third term lowest scoring opening quarter in a grand final for 75 years Anthony Rocker, drop part, never in doubt. Anthony Rocker has three. 42 yeah. plays 40, Lions lead. Here's Rodney Eve. Yes, yeah, that was a very smart play from Collingwood. Um, obviously, if Anthony Rocker's going to go on the ruck, and you've got McKee. McKee is doing, is doing the same thing again. He's a loose man in defence. He's going to be the ruckman around the ground. Rocker's going to go forward. So that's where Mal Michael now should run and pick him up straight after the bounce and Clark Keating be responsible for Steve McKee but it was a great goal and it was well worked out by Collingwood so the Magpies two goals to one in five and a half minutes of this quarter we're again within two points umpire Allen throws the ball up Rocker gets the first hand on there Lappin tries to steal it can't Buckley does for Collingwood kicks into the 50 but Brad Scott chops it off 
marks on his chest for the Lions. Has Lappin, who is running endlessly. Short for him. Fumbles at once. Got it now. Didak pressures him. So he gives it back to Brad Scott who wheels, steadies, kicks very high, not a great ball, Loney has black under it, makes the spoil down to Buckley, who's the everywhere man at the moment, below the members, behind the wing, swings Collingwood forward, Didak used the body neatly, couldn't mark, Chris Scott's got the footy, slung, good tackle by Tarrant, play on the call, pack over the footy, umpire Allen steps in and will ball it up, with Collingwood pressing and looking for the lead, as they've shaken Brisbane early in the, in the second half, Collingwood 6 4 40, Brisbane 5 12 42. Ball knocked down for the right contest, but all of a sudden the Lions with the numbers kick toward the wing. Off hands, Buckley picks up. Wobbly ball back to Notting, who kicked it from the wing in the first place. Handball to Lecuria, caught by Acker Manis. Hasn't had a big afternoon yet, Acker. Loney picks up, gives to McKee. Slung, got a kick away. Lapping in defence now. Handball to Black. Handball to McRae. Slams a kick on his boot towards the wing. Brown and Prestige Como. Brown picks up. Threads a handball through traffic. Collingwood with the numbers. O'Bree steals. Gives to McKee. This looks good for Collingwood. They get it through traffic to the loose man, Loney. Handball to Buckley. In the corridor. Runs. Held up now by McRae. Gets a kick away to half forward. Misses the target, O'Bree. And now the Lions with the numbers on the rebound. Lappin wide. Ackermanis and McKee. McKee does brilliantly. Handballs to Lecuria. Another turnover. Short to O'Bree. Outside 50. Kicks high inside 50. Push on Rocker. Umpire said play on. Lepich back pocket. Spearing ball. Finds Notting. Half back flank for the Lions. Sidesteps Betheris. Runs a few metres. Kicks now and kicks well for McRae. Coming with the flight. Great, unflinchingly. Great courage. Had Ackermanis running for him. Just couldn't quite get it off. Ackermanis still loose. McRae didn't see him. He goes long to Lynch. It beats Lynch. It's through for a behind. Ackermanis might have been the option and he's not happy. He's waving his arms and you suspect saying a few words as he likes to do. 5-13-43 to 6-4-40. Brisbane by three points. No doubt, Kluwer. No doubt Brisbane have got a plan that they're just going to put uh, Lynch in the goal square and just kick it long every time because they've just picked up the ball on four occasions this quarter and done mm. exactly the same thing. Yeah, he didn't look then because it was almost as if the instruction was in his ear from half-time. Clement to kick in from fullback. 40 plays, 43. Lions lead. Loney and McKee got hands on it. McKee couldn't mark it. Ball shuffled forward by Keating nicely, but Wakeland's loose. Back pocket. Wakeland kicks toward the wing. Nicely measured pass. Loney drops the mark. Let's Ackermanis in for a chance. Long handball. Big give a shot at Freeborn. That was a beauty. Play down, play on says the umpire he's up McRae, he's okay McKee, handball to O'Bree backtracks to halfback, through traffic chips his kick, Buckley wide towards Buckley and also Didak, great mark Didak on the wing nine minutes played, third term three point lead to the Lions Didak wheels in board he is a lovely probing left foot kick that's what this is Fraser at the spill, if he can grab it he's got it, he wheels he hooks, he misses. He got too much swing on the ball. And Cos Martino's melancholy duty is to tell him it's a behind. I'd, I'd, sort of like, I'd sort of hate to be critical of a Brownlow medalist, but Jason Ackermanis was the quickest part on the ground, never uses his pace to tackle anyone. Margin he, two points. That he fell over before when he was chasing O'Brien. He could have caught him, and I just don't reckon the intent was there. Chris Scott to Voss, who heads wide, one-on-one -on -one contest, a brief beaten this time. Good mark taken by Lappin, who's getting plenty of it, Jack. How many possessions now to Nigel Lappin? 17. And he chips his 17th towards Alistair Lynch, all the way up to the wing. No one inside attacking 50 for the Lions, as Lynch goes wide to Brown, and press to Giacomo, dumps it towards the line. Hip and shoulder laid by B. Johnson. Ball not clear towards the line by Lynch. They call for deliberate, and they don't get it. It was by Black, in fact, that knocked it to the line, and the ball in will occur. Southern stand side, 10 minutes third term. It's a two-point game, Lions lead. Keating in ruck, Black caught in the traffic here, nowhere to go. Buckley, who is having a magnificent 10 minutes at the start of this half, is in there as well. There's a pack, and there will be a ball up. Ten and a half third term, Brisbane 5-13-43. Collingwood 6-5-41. Umpire Allen hurls the ball skyward. McKee backhands it, and Loney runs onto it. Has a bounce. Four to the 
centre, has another as he comes in board, stabs his kick and Lockyer marks it at the 50. How is he from that range? Just know, Tim. about a chance to put Collingwood in front. He's an accurate user of the ball. Can he get the distance from 55? He goes for it. It hangs in the air. Fraser's there, but so's Lepic, who fists it through for a behind, and the difference is a point. Brisbane 5-13-43, Collingwood 6-6-42, beyond the 11-minute mark. That's another example of Chris Johnson sagging off his man. Just, just thought the long kick, he, uh, he can go back and help his teammates, and they just hit his, hit his opponent. A light shower just dampens the ground again quickly and then subsides as Johnson as the sun breaks through kicks wide but to Lockyer plays on to Buckley he might go from 55 it would be awesome it would be unbelievable Nathan Buckley welcome to town this might be your time he's 11 and a half minutes to start this third term a stuff of legend. 5-13-43, plays 7-6-48, Collingwood in front through a captain's goal. I'll tell you what, Rocket, if Chris Johnson isn't feeling bad for sagging off his man, he's feeling probably ordinary now, because he's kicked that ball from a kick in straight to a Collingwood opponent. Tark and Lockyer, just an easy handball off the Buckley. Better thing too goal. is Buckley's getting possession yeah, forward of the, the defensive area now. Is he's getting a, up where he can hurt them. Is this a fairy tale? <laughs> well, they certainly uh, regrouped at that half-time break, the Pies. White in ruck for Brisbane, climbs high, and the Lions win the footy backside of the pack through Hart. Puts it out in front of Notting, gets a haywire bounce. Oh. He's got it, and he's mown down in a tackle. But Ferris picks it up. Kick goes nowhere, but to Hart, who kicks around the half-forward flank. Brown in front, spoiled from Preston Giacomo. McRae knocks it on. Burns of Collingwood in the way. Gives to McKee. Magpies coolly out of trouble. Not a great kick. Might be all right. Bounces into half forward. Fraser. Hand pass to Tarrant. Great desperate tackle by Lepic. Tarrant comes back. Centres with the left foot. Power of Brisbane. Knocks it towards Hart. Didn't go for it. Rocker knocks it on. Michael of Brisbane in there. Rocker has another go at him. Ball spills loose. Power paddles towards the boundary. And now it's over. And there'll be a throw in. And Collingwood are throwing the great southern stand at Brisbane. In the first half of this third quarter, the Magpies lead by five points, 7-6-48, the Lions 5-13-43. They've got two Ruckman to go up this, Fraser or Rocker, they're both there, Rocker stays and goes for it, Fraser drops back, loose handball but gathered by Chris Scott, pumps it to half-back, Headland, Brown flies, can't mark, Brad's got a chance at half-back, gathers, but Terrace trapped him beautifully, he was dispossessed, holding the ball, he waited for the second, and that was his prior opportunity, according to the umpire. But there is to Buckley again. Wide kick. Nick Davis, one grab, not the second. Off hands, heart gathers. Back pocket, Ashcroft about to be caught by Didak. Dribbles the ball around the boundary line. Lappin or the line, he'll take either. Lappin allows it across. It'll be a ball in. Southern stand, half forward flank for Collingwood, who lead. 15 minutes in, third term, 48 to 43. Akamenis and Lecuria tangling off the ball. It's fisted back towards the boundary. Loney's got it. He tries desperately to keep it in, and he did for a bit, but now it's over as Lecuria and Akamenis continue to wrestle. And the interesting thing is that the agitated party is last year's Brownlow medalist. Lecuria looks as cool as a cucumber. He's goading, he's teasing, and he's winning. At the throw in, Fraser rucks, down to Buckley, hand pass away from goal, O'Bree, left footed to within 30, big fist Johnson of Brisbane, beautifully done, down to Black, needs to get his kick, does out wide, in space, taking the mark for Brisbane. It's a fantastic kick with great vision, wasn't it? Is Headland, southern wing, Lions badly need a steadying goal, Headland comes sideways, almost backwards, and Black has it again. Weather pleasant at the moment if a little arctic short kick to headland again in the center lovely sidestep breaks away now runs to 70 loads up kicks to the goal square brownwell spoiled kick out of the air by mccray across the goal face and through for a behind and nothing is going right in front of goal for the lions who trail by four points collingwood 7 6 48 
Brisbane, 5, 14, 44, 16 minutes third term. That's one part of Jonathan Brown's game is he's marking to be able to take it in his hands. He did all the hard work, they wanted to take it on the chest and got spoiled. Nodding in a two-on-one was the one. Took a brilliant mark from the kick-in. Hamels to Lappin, 60 from goal. High bomb, goal square. Voss is there, Lynch flies. One grab, two, not the third. McRae crumbs, misses it. Wakeland somehow stole the ball, gave to O'Bree. Collingwood out of trouble. And O'Bree rolls it towards the boundary line for a race. Brown can't get there. It's out of play. Great play, Shane Wakeland. And gentlemen, I ask you, how long can they afford to leave Boss and Ackermanis at full forward? Um, I'd, I'd certainly have the better players in the midfield, and I think Ackermanis even can, even can play behind the ball. Southern side between wing and Brisbane's half forward flank. Buckley climbs in and whacks it 50 metres. It clears the centre line. Lappin gets back desperately for Brisbane. Well tackled by Tarrant. Second go at it. Gives to Brad Scott. He gives to Ashcroft, but a great smother by Nick Davis. Takes the ball over the boundary for a throw in Collingwood's side of the wing. Further that point, Dwayne, I mean, he's been tad at command. So if he just played 20 or 30, uh, 20 or 30 metres behind the stoppage, blocks some space, yep. then he's got space to run back into. He's taken Lecuria to the goal square, ball back into play, Lepage forced to fly in the ruck. Buckley grabbed, not in possession. Umpire saw it for two number fives. Went head to head, Brad Scott grabbed him, Buckley milked it for all it was worth. He goes wide to Burns, who marks just inside 50 and just inside the boundary line. It's the pocket where Nathan Buckley kicked the crowd raiser a few minutes ago. Scotty Burns, long sleeved, tucked up to the elbow, socks down on an injury interrupted career he has had, but he's found his feet. Long kick towards goal, high kick across the face, rocker flies, can't bring it down. Good defence lines, they've rushed it through for a behind. 18 minutes played, third term, 44 plays, 49. Collingwood leading 7-7 for the Lions, 5-14. 3-3 to 1-2 in this quarter, Collingwood's turn. Not scoring against the run of play in this term. The run of play has been with them. Now Johnson kicks cleverly. It was shaped to kick long and then just checked it and hit Lappin out near the 50. Lappin goes backwards to Ashcroft and he miscued that just a little nervously and now they're back in the back pocket Ashcroft the veteran kicks back down the southern side to White put him under pressure O'Brien edged him out of the contest then mopped up gives to Lockyer to McKee takes on the tackler ambitiously Rocker Sockers but straight to Brad Scott who gives it off to Black Brisbane rebound out wide Johnson takes the mark can't play on though as the mark is covered he's just behind the wing as they're playing under light blue sky now, he kicks towards half forward. Brown is the target. Presta Giacomo plays him like a modern day gaper. Spillage to Headland. Sloppy hand pass. Stolen for Collingwood by Freeborn. Kicks to the wing. Chris Johnson beautifully to Braveheart, who swings the ball into half forward. Nothing there for Brisbane. Buckley brings it down to the front. Out near the boundary, it's over. A throw in. Half forward flank for the Lions, but 80 metres from goal. 19 minutes third term. Collingwood 7, 7 49. Brisbane 5, 14 44. Brisbane number five, Brad Scott had to chase his opposite number five last year to stop him from having an influence. He's doing the same here. Ball back into play. Flipped out to Hart. High kick on attacking 50. Ackermanis beaten for a throw. Freeborn somehow with speed got past Ackermanis. Handballs to Clement. Wide ball from his foot towards Tarrant. One grab, not the second. To Buckley again. Around the body goes Buckley along the boundary line. Rocker and Michael one on one. Ashcroft makes it two on two with Nick Davis, does well. Handball's to Michael, handball to Lappin, handball back to Michael on the wing, chips at midfield to White, and he can run. Loney comes at him, White has a bounce, Loney shuts him down, White rolls the ball towards Jonathan Brown on 50, twists out of trouble, into trouble, out of trouble. Handball's to Voss, can go central, goes wide to the pocket, big fist out of play by Bethiris. And the ball will be tossed in forward pocket for the Lions and Collingwood as we kick into time on third term continue to hold the lead 49 plays 44
chance, 30 metres around McKee, brings it down away from goal. McRae of Brisbane falls over the footy. Support comes from Brown, but nowhere to go, even for a man as ox-like as him, and there'll be a bounce. This must be, that must have been the 70th ball up or throw in and they're just really hanging on all over the place, Colin. 40 stopping. from goal, White takes it out of the air, hooks it goalward, Lynch in front, marks it! Conjured the mark out of somewhere. 15 metres out, 45 degree angle, difficult shot, under pressure, but a chance to put the Lions back in front from the sixth mark taken by the veteran Brisbane full forward. I think the worrying thing for Brisbane, Tim, is I mean, you mentioned uh, cohesive forward moves. They can't get the ball in the corridor. It's a trouble. They're coming around the wings and they're getting caught. True center forward out in the flanks. They can't break the line. When they get the ball in the corridor, they can break the line to get the ball deep inside 50. And, uh, you know, I think that's worrying for Brisbane. Big kick this. Big kick. If it's nervous, indecisive and misses, their stock slump. Comes in. Puts it through. It was everything... The opposite to what I described. His approach was straight. The swing of the leg was decisive and the ball went as straight as an arrow and the Lions are back in front by a point. 6.14.50 to Collingwood 7 7 49. We're 22 minutes into the... Yeah, the Davises, Nick on for Leon and Shattuck on for McRae. Rocker in the ruck, gathers, kicks, Tarrant! Marks inside 50. As good a mark in a pack with difficulty as Lynch took at the other end a minute ago. And Chris Tarrant a chance to give Collingwood back the lead in the shadows of three-quarter time. That was interesting, Centre Bounce, Dwayne, where I think Collingwood are very smart once Darrell White goes in, that Rocker goes in against him. And just his, his size and physical strength and his second effort there got the ball out and Tarrant takes a great mark. They call him Taz. He is a hero at Collingwood. He dropped punts with touch, touch, touch off the boot. The Collingwood fans rise. They think it's through. And then they see the touch signal from the goal umpire. Tim Lane's mate. Is it Cosmartino? That's him. And he got it right then. 23 and a half minutes. And scores a left. It makes Alistair Lynch's goal a big one. Because there's big pressure on that. Big pressure. And uh, Chris Tarrant didn't quite measure up. Chris Johnson goes long. Goes southern side, goes for Lepic, Rocker nearly outmarks him, out near the boundary, Lockyer takes it over. There'll be a throw in on Collingwood's right half forward flank. Peter Bruckner. Keating back on for Daryl White. Tim, I think an interesting one is that Mick Moldass has been able to force Luke Power to be in defence, so he's taken a bit of uh, midfield work, and I think maybe Shattuck could be an option to go down and play in defence and release Luke Power. Rocker and Keating share this, Buckley swoops but can't break, and there'll be a ball up. Or dare I say, Akamanis. Yes, 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 because he's made his name down there. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good option, Stan. Whether he's not fit or not, I mean, he certainly mm. doesn't look as heavy. To Voss, who's had a quiet quarter. Lions work it, bulldoze it out towards the wing, but they don't win it. There's a Collingwood free kick, and now there's advantage. O'Bree comes inside on the left, then goes wide on the right, and delivers beautifully to Didak between wing and half forward. He comes in board to Rocker. And Rocker takes the mark. 40 metres out. Where he's got to commit himself to pick his opponent up. Short goal. Comes in. Kicks from 45. There's your answer. Collingwood by a goal. Close to three-quarter time. The Magpies are on the brink of the unthinkable. They're 8 8 56, Brisbane 6 14 50, 25 and a half minutes on the clock. It's Keating this time. Collingwood will try and get the takeaway. Burns shuffled it out for O'Bree. Played for it free. Claimed he was caught a little high. Boss in the middle of it. Caught well. Caught high. Or in the back. Take your pick. Nathan Buckley looks it up by James and says, no way. But Boss will take it from the middle of the ground. Pumps it with a wobbly difficult ball to grab to half forward and Bathera sharks it nicely kick not so good, Didak fell over bounced up, picked up this would be unbelievable he misses and it bounces on the boundary line out in the full line, out on the full is it? yep, according to the goal umpire it was and that was phenomenal for Didak to be down and up so quickly, 27 on the clock Ooh. Collingwood lead 56 to 50 boy another wobbly option by the Lions they've turned it over 
over. Scotland's got it. He delivers to Tarrant. 25 metres out. And the errors are coming from the favourites. Chris Tarrant will line this up beyond the 27-minute mark. And if he kicks a goal, Collingwood Jack will have the biggest lead of the day. And it says something that that would only be two goals. But you now start to sense that Brisbane are in a spot of bother. In comes Tarrant. Crucial moment. Left forward pocket. He misses. He was tentative. And it was never close. Collingwood by seven points. 8-9-57. Brisbane 6-14-50. Margin. Collingwood lead. Short pass to Ashcroft. Half back flank for the Lions. Spearing ball midfield. Good ball. Perfect ball. Chris Johnson can't play on though. Leon Davis shuts him down. He goes wide. Beautiful pass. Scott. Short pass from him inside 50. Brown sliding. Takes the mark inside 50. But tough angle coming up for Jonathan Brown. Put plenty of numbers behind the ball. Collingwood almost had a flood on them. They're all sort of pushing back behind the footy. And uh, Brisbane did what actually manufactured a ball to, uh, to Jonathan Brown. With a lot of numbers back there. One and a half minutes left in the third term. Bright sunshine on the MCG at the moment. The breeze, even though it doesn't mean much, is blowing to the end that Collingwood will come home to in the last term. Brown has that breeze at his back now. Sits it up in the breeze and kicks the goal. <laughs> Jonathan Brown from the boundary has reduced it to a one point margin Brown Rocker wins it here, gives to Scotland his kick goes sideways Sean Hart's got it for Brisbane swings them forward, southern flank Johnson leads Akamanis to the ball Akamanis does well, he gives to Voss just outside 50 he loads, he goes the Lions are back in front champion stuff from the champions 14.62 to 8.9. Freeborn, big launch inside 50. Tarrant there. Chris Scott slaps it out of play. And will get a ball in forward pocket for Collingwood. 57 plays, 62. Leon Davis had it for a moment. Fraser has a go for Collingwood. Brisbane overwhelmed them. Picked up by Hedlund. Swinging left footer as a shocker. Out on the full. And that gives Collingwood a free kick. Well inside 50. And guess who? He's gold from there already in this quarter. It's Nathan Buckley. So in the dying seconds, and he would be aware that the siren is not far away. He looks as though he's considering the options, but it would need to be crisp and clean. Otherwise, the shot is the way to go. His 10th possession of the quarter. The runner tells him to have a shot. Buckley from the boundary might have missed near side. He has... And the margin, Brisbane's way, is four points. 8-14 to 8-10. Up against the boundary. He goes long to the southern stand side. High kick. Fraser rises. Can't mark. Power the crumb. At the last change in the 2002 grand final, it's the Brisbane Lions, the favourites by four points. 8-14, 62 to Collingwood, 8-10, 4-6 and dictate terms. Quarter is underway. Umpire James throws it up in fine conditions and Keating beats Rocker and knocks it 25 metres towards half forward. Ackermanis ran hard at an oncoming Collingwood player. The ball loose, picked up by Clement for the Magpies to Ben Johnson, back to Clement, who scrambles a kick forward of the centre. Lepic leads the race, trapped the ball and then somehow managed to lose it. Loney over it for Collingwood. Lepic tries to prize it out. Fraser, though, has it for the Magpies, swings it into the 50. Nick Davis in front. Ashcroft the spoil. Didac dangerous on his preferred side. Swinging kick. It won't swing. It stays wide. It's out on the full. A free kick to Brisbane. Chris Scott wants to take it and run on. He kicks the ball along the ground to Headland, whose kick is equally scrubby. Ordinary use of the ball by the Lions. Loney makes a good contest and sees it over the line for a throw-in. Outside the 50, left half forward flank for Collingwood, going to the city end. We're a minute in, and the Lions lead the Magpies by four points. 
And it's Buckley and Voss going head to head again from the middle of the ground. Ball back into play. Keating thumps for the boundary. He won't quite find it. Scotland might take it across. He's taken across by Lappin. And we'll get another ball in. Southern stand side. Dark clouds starting to hover over the MCG. The lights are on. Power up forward now. And power through the light towers as well. Ball back into play. Keating and Rocker. Ball knocked down towards Lappin. Handballs to Voss. Gets away from Buckley. Has a bounce. Runs the half forward. High kick inside. 50. Wakeland v Lynch. Wakeland. Dumps it toward the boundary. And it bounces out of play. Forward pocket for the Lions. Who lead 62 to 58. It's a very strange matchup too. That Des Headland's got to half back flank. Who's now playing on Didac. Uh, which may be, it may be a role that Shattuck could do. And you could release Headland into, into the midfield. Didac can be very dangerous. Throw in Lynch and McKee pushing and shoving and grappling and holding. Ball loose. Lynch off the ground. Wakeland like a soccer goalie. Gets his hands onto it. Actually keeps it in play. It was almost in the box. And now he kicks it out beyond the 50. What great defence by Shane Wakeland. There'll be a throw in. Left half forward flank for the Lions. Outside the old room is now below the Olympic stand. Two and a half minutes in. Still Brisbane by four points. Buckley and Voss. Brad Scott trying to get between them. And now McKee and Keating come at the ball. Buckley's over it. So too Brad Scott. Everybody over it that can get near it. And we'll get another bounce. Outside attacking. 50 for the Lions. They're kicking to the punt road end in this final term. Which is three minutes old. Bounce. Keating slaps it down. Ben Johnson gathers. Rusty handball. Picked up by Power. Threw it to Black. Kick around the body goal. The Brownlow medalist provides. Free kick. Free kick. Throw oh, off the ball. A free kick to Freeborn for a throw. The goal won't count. Three minutes in, final term. And the beauty, the twists and turns continue. Umpire McBurney it was who dished that one out. Collingwood worked the ball to the southern side. And Tarrant takes a mark on the wing. And just when it looked as though Brisbane had kicked the first goal, it will now be Collingwood mounting a forward move. Looking to regain the lead. Tarrant, who could have put them two goals in front late in the third quarter. On the centre line now, a long way from home. A high, wayward-looking ball, very wide. Buckley, their only hope, goes the spoil into the corridor. Notting there for Brisbane. Swings it wide, bouncing out near the line on the wing and over for a throw-in. Below the great southern stand, which is jam-packed, and those who have been lucky enough to have tickets to come here today are seeing a game that they won't forget. Brisbane 8-14, Collingwood 8-10, four minutes last quarter. Ball back into play, slap back toward the boundary line. Brisbane gain about five metres. Just showed a replay of the power handball. Oh, no. He handballed it, did he? Yes. Mm. Keating against him. Ball thumped down towards Ben Johnson, and Ackermanner steals it. High kick towards attacking, 50, very high kick, under it, Freeborn, couldn't mark it, Brown crunched, Freeborn, toe poke, gathered almost by White, stolen from him by Clement at half back, spears it towards half forward, but it's over the head of Nick Davis, marked by Ashcroft, and the Lions have the loose men, Ashcroft to Brad Scott, in the corridor, middle of the ground, goes wide with a pass option, Hart on attacking, 50, just inside the boundary line, gets around McKee, high kick, Goal square, freeborn, a juggle, a mark, last line of defence. 58 play, 62, Lions lead, five minutes last term. Daring hand pass across the goal face to Clement, who has Didac in space and half back, and now he has Buckley on the wing. Collingwood work at Thorpe Ford methodically. Nick Davis leads, Buckley delivers, Davis below the members, between wing and half forward flank. Five and a half minutes into the final term. Davis kicks it to the hot spot. 25 out. Lepic. Rocker. Rocker got hands on. Couldn't hold it. Michael takes it to Black, to Chris Johnson, to Lappin. Hart calling for it. He doesn't go to him. He goes longer to Keating, who marks at the 50. Running for him now is Notting. Will mark just behind the southern wing as Brisbane build up. Running for him, Brown. Will mark between wing and half forward as Brisbane switch from defensive to attacking mode. Brown down the boundary, kept it very wide. Freeborn courageously across the front 
of a surging mech truck named Alistair Lynch takes the ball over the boundary and throw in 40 metres around right forward flank for the Lions by Ben Johnson high kick McKee stands under it takes the mark he's a centre half back Lecuria appeals for him Lappin chases Lecuria the ball longer to Tarrant great mark on Chris Scott strong hands device like grip just forward of the wing Drop punt is high towards Fraser. Has two to beat. Chris Johnson front of the pack with Lepich. Chris Johnson handball to Notting. Handball back to Chris Johnson. Well worked by the Lions. Bad handball though by Johnson. It's to Didak. He's caught. No prior opportunity. Umpire will be forced to bounce. This is a magnificent contest. Seven minutes in. Final term. We still don't know who will win. 58 plays, 62. The Lions lead. Fraser takes it out of the air. Hand pass to Loney. Swings a right footer inside the 50 to Rocker. Who has taken the mark low to the ground. He has locked your calling. He won't go there. And why should he? Tim, he's been kicking that well. He'd have to back himself from here. It was just good composure, I would have thought. To go back and just back himself to kick the goal. His eye is in. His confidence is up. He has four goals in the left-hand column of the football record. This for number five to put the Magpies back in front. This is a huge moment. And even the Collingwood fans hush. As Rocker comes in from on the 50, soaring kick, towering kick. He missed. He's missed. It's a behind. They were up. Rocker thinks it was a goal. Mm. Craig Clark, the goal umpire, says not. 8.14 to 8.11. Well, Chris marks on defensive 50. Spears the ball to Hart. Also on defensive 50. But back into the corridor. Eight and a half minutes on the clock. Final term. What 59 to 62. Oh. Long kick from Hart to the outer side to Brown. Strong mark on his chest in front of Prestigiacomo. Jonathan Brown, southern stand wing. Drop punt towards half forward. McKee. Keating beats him. Taking a two grab mark over oh. the top. Umpire hasn't paid it. Another, he slipped over the up, he umpire. He's, and paid it. he's paid it. Oh. He's but paid it now, I think. The, 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 no, um, no, the, the umpire in the centre of the ground has told him it was touched. Number five again. Yes. Keating. Yeah. Well, the He's gods seem to be against the Lions. Ball up. Voss played for a free kick, didn't get it. Black played ball, got it. Gave to Notting. On attacking 50. High kick, wide kick. Out of bounds on the full kick. Free kick, Collingwood. Died. Ben Johnson ran a long way to the 50. Kicks a long way to Fraser. Lepich makes the spoil. Just holds it up. But Batheris has got it. Gives to Scotland. Gives to Lecuria for Collingwood. Gives to Preston Giacomo. Just gets his little left footer towards the 50. Tarrant first man there. Runs into trouble. Gives to Lecuria. Gives to Scotland. Gives to O'Bree. Runs into Boss. Gives back to Scotland from 49. Standing start to the goal square. has arrived and plucked the ball off the hands of the two protagonists in the goal square like a man reaching over picking a cherry from a tree and he'll line up from a difficult angle with the man on the mark only a couple of meters out he can run around he comes in he bends it through The Lions 8-14-62 and here comes the rain. Buckley runs, kicks long from the middle towards full forward. Tarrant there, can't mark. Chris Johnson dumps it through. Surely there are people up there watching games of footy. Maybe the old ghosts of Ted Whitten and great players gone by saying we'll have a part in this and it doesn't get any closer or better. Chris Johnson bangs it long and bangs it beautifully to Notting, who marks on the half-back flank. The unbackable favourites are trailing 12 minutes into the last quarter. Notting comes inside to Brad Scott. Set a half-back for Brisbane. 12 on the clock. 
He has nowhere to go. So he goes to his brother, who just manages to mark it with Didac making a lunge. That opens the door, and Chris Scott kicks right, to catch. Michael, who takes the mark between wing and half forward. He swings an arm in frustration at Tark and Lockyer. Collingwood pushing numbers back to him. Inboard now to White. Almost in the centre of the ground as misty rain falls. It's sleeting at the MCG. A low scything kick from Daryl White. Nothing on the end of it. Lapping a chance at the front. Under pressure. Gives to Hart. Under pressure. To Power. Under pressure. To Voss for a standing start kick. To the edge of the goal square. Lynch can't get into position. Free kick, is it? Free kick. Brisbane's oh. way. Umpire James has seen one Brisbane's way. And it is Alistair Lynch, who spent five minutes haranguing the same umpire in the same spot in the second quarter of the day. Oh, he got a full Nelson on him. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. <laughs> and a sleeper hole to go with it as well, Rogan. <laughs> he did that, then he, then he tried to... He has the had a game though, hasn't he, number five? I think that was there. That was there. Yeah, yeah. It was there. he has, has a game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah I think we slipped into him for the ones he's made wrong. Well, well we've got to give him a pat on the back for that one. Lynch... Man on the mark, 15 metres out. The angle, negligible. 13 and a half minutes on the clock. Umpire moves left, comes back, says goal. Brisbane back in front. Lynch has four. The Lions, 9-14, 68. The Magpies, 9-12, Oh, brilliant play on the boundary line here by uh, three of them. Ball knocked down towards Ackermanis at half forward for the Lions. Bump well. Freeborn picks up. Hands to Burns. Long kick to half forward for Collingwood. Ball dumped down by Ashcroft. Got, got it to Mal Michael. Half back flank. The X Magpie goes long. Pressed here Como and Brown. Brown got a hand to it. Boss picked up the crumb. Dribbles it along the boundary line and it's out of play. 50 metres from Brisbane's goal. Lions lead. 68 to 66. 14 and a half minutes on the clock. Final term. Darrell White has gone back on the Tarrant. Ball back into play. The Ruckman lock arms. Keating and McKee. Ball slapped down to the lock here. Handball, but it slipped off the end of the hand. Ball inside attacking 50 for the Lions. Buckley shoots a handball out. Stolen by Ackermanis. He shot a handball out. Stolen by Lockyer. Dribbles it towards the boundary line and he gets the line. It's out of play this time. 70 metres from the Brisbane goal. We're into the 16th minute final term. Still the Lions by two points. It's official. We're halfway through the last quarter. We have the close grand final. McKee tries to take it out of the air but can't. Freeborn over the ball. Helps it to Loney. Helps it to Buckley. Swings a kick to the southern wing. Tarrant first man there. Coming at him Ashcroft. The veteran's done some good things but he's got the fumbles now. He helps it to Notting who helps it onto White who cops a high tackle. It's Brisbane's ball. It's great by Ashcroft. He was under the pump. He fumbled but he just got the hand on the ball towards the boundary and got it out of a dangerous position. Dazzling Darrell. It's no time for Dazzle. It's no day for Dazzle. He kicks beyond the wing. It falls to the front and Freeborn, who helps it to Buckley. And the champion's got it again. A low kick to Tarrant. Standing start as he slung. Up and down on the one spot. Fisted on for Collingwood by Betheris. To Scotland. Sweeping hand pass to the dangerous Loney. Clever hand pass to Burns. Loose is Mercuria. Can he mark it? He can. 47 metres out. Burns changed his mind where to kick that after he dropped the ball towards his boot. The thing I notice about Brisbane, every time they get the ball at half back, they're going wide. Uh, there's chance at the time Michael was one when he did a pirouette, Brad Scott, and they're on the edge of the centre square. Could have come in the corridor and they didn't. Scoring chance. He'll kick from just outside 50. 17 minutes in, gets close to the man on the mark, goes very wide, he got too close, big pack up, off their hands, out of bounds, a throw in. Brisbane by two points, Peter Bruckner on the boundary. Lee behind, Keating thumps toward the boundary line and it rolls back out. And the boundary umpire will have to do it again. It has been an unbelievable, phenomenal season for goals that have decided games at the last breath. Will this be another one? McKee in the ruck, dumps it down, ball close to the boundary line, and again it's out of play. It would almost be appropriate if this game, if this season does get decided by the man with the ball when the siren sounds. 
Keating and Fraser. 40 from Collingwood's goal. Knocked down to Leon Davis. Hasn't had a golden afternoon. No one can break free. Umpire McBurney says play on initially. And now he will bounce. Brendan Gale, Martin McClure, Rodney Ead, and Stan Howes with you along with Dwayne Russell and Tim Lane. Hang on to your hats. They're really switched on, the Brisbane players. They're not leaving that third man in over the top of Clark Keating. Thrown up at the fifth end pass, goes wide, plays the percentages. Leon Davis tried to keep it in, couldn't. A throw in between wing and half forward for Collingwood. And Saru is sort of a good professional side. There was a throw in the forward pocket right next to the boundary, boundary uh, right next to the point post. And the ball's now 15 metres outside the 50 and there's been no possessions. They've just worked it around. Climbing in here, Bathurus for Collingwood. Boss saw it coming. Strikes Leon Davis. Swings it long and high down the southern wing. Brown of Colling uh, Brisbane tries to knock it on. Again, it's out near the boundary. Pack forms. Collingwood trying to steal it. Buckley had a go. Couldn't. Akamanis might have a go. Buckley has another one, though. Quick kick, but straight to Notting. Takes the mark behind the centre line for the Lions, who have the footy, and they have Ashcroft loose in midfield. He receives just behind the centre circle. Brisbane to load up. 19 minutes on the clock. The Lions by two points. Ashcroft from one back flank for the other to Mal Michael. Rocker comes at him, overcommitted. Mal Michael dances around him, short to White. Just forward of the centre circle. White chips it. Ackermanis is free. Maybe too far out to score as he marks. On the line of the centre square. The leads come. Ack is going long. High drop punt to the goal square. Lynch flies, slips. Ball to the back of the pack. And it's a behind. 19 and a half minutes played. Final term. 69 plays 66, the Lions lead. Peter Brooker, Ackermanis kicking left foot. Yes, he came into the game with a right groin problem, and it's obviously got worse, and he's having to kick with his left foot. There's no doubt Dwayne said that uh, some of the players haven't played great. Yeah. Play, and it's Glenn Freeborns coming to the... Ben McKee, a tough assignment. Three against him. How will it fall? Not all that well for Brisbane. Boss over the footy. Can't work the hand pass out. McKee does for Collingwood. Gets it to Burns. Gets around one tackler. Kicks long into half forward. In front, Rocker. Can't mark. A desperate spoil from Michael, who then kicks the ball out of the air and does brilliantly well for the Lions to take it 40 metres to the boundary for a throw in between wing and Collingwood's half forward flank. Uh, the thing that I like about Collingwood, they're prepared to come into the corridor. They're prepared to turn inboard yep. and get and release some runners inboard to get it in quickly. Brisbane want to go wide all the time. Ball back into play, 21 minutes on the clock. Buckley kicks it from mid-air to half forward. Mount Michael, big swipe over the top to Black. The line from half back kicks wide to the wing. Lockyer thumps it to the boundary. Power cuts it off. Chip kick in Boss's direction. He gets him. Voss, southern stand wing with the Lions leading by three points. 23rd minute final term. Long kick. Wakeland's fist wins out against Lynch. That has been a sensational battle to watch. The ball out of play. Rodney. 55 metres from Rodney. the Lions goal. Collingwood are trying to win the game. Brisbane are trying to save it. Yeah, yeah there's no doubt. So obvious, they're, isn't it? They're just slowing it up. Yeah. And they're not playing it on quickly. 22 gone. McKee beats Keating in ruck. Buckley will be in there again. So Zach and Manus, the ball is between them. And there will be a ball up. 22 gone. Six minutes left by the time clock, and those six minutes will decide, we expect, the out feels it. His kick smothered. Boss has a go. Is held. Once a free kick, doesn't get it. The ball in dispute. Over on the southern half forward flank. Brisbane going to the punt road end. Umpire James comes in and will separate players with another ball up. 75 from goal. The crowd posted at 91,817. 22 and a half minutes last quarter. Brisbane lead by three points. Ball at half four. The umpire, Matthew James, has found a free. It'll go to the Lions, Lappin. How many possessions, Lappin, Jack? 21 possessions to Lappin. And he is about to pump them inside. 50. High kick. Lynch on the lead. Can't mark it. Off hands. Ben Johnson gathers. Wobbles it. Cut off quickly. Looping handball over the top by Notting. Back to him again. 50 from goal. Loops another handball over the top. Hoping for Brown. Ball not clear of him. Hard at it, everybody. Buckley might mop it up. Half back. Slaps it out. Gets it to O'Bree. Over at Leon Davis. Knocked away from him. Brad Scott picks up. Goes to full forward. High ball. Lynch can't mark. Ackermanis crumbs. Kicks around the body. Hard 
football here. Oh, it's just got some hard football. Oh, it's just fantastic. And that's about staying in the contest and oh. never, ever giving up. Akamamas has had a poor day on his standards, but all of a sudden he's put himself in the contest and kept going to the right spots, and that makes he, that'll makes that make his day. Well, he's yeah. worried oh, about that. Practice yeah. on the left foot. And, and that's interesting, too, if you're a Collingwood player, you'd know he's not going to kick on the right yeah. foot. You know he's going to turn that way. Normally he, he jigs and jags and bet, but he went straight on the left, and he didn't have enough pressure on him. He's not doing handstands yet. No, he's not. Still plenty of time, let me tell you. Buckley wins it in the middle, Buckley the brave, swings it forward, nothing there for Collingwood, Ashcroft's played a wonderful last quarter, goes away from goal to Chris Johnson, who delivers short to Lepic, and he takes the mark behind the centre line, he goes wide to Ashcroft, who's unmanned, and he soaks up time, and as much as he possibly and reasonably can, from behind the wing on the members' side, they're playing keepings off, a little nervously, he kicks to Chris Johnson, back at centre half back, as they've gone into Collingwood's goal, almost 25 minutes gone, Brisbane 10 15 75, Collingwood 9 12 66. That's where there should be a 10 second rule for a bloke having the footy, you should have 10 seconds to make your mind up what you're going to do Long with it. Ball, Johnson, no one can mark it, Brown's got it for Brisbane, a hand pass to the dangerous boss, leans back, kicks long in towards a wrestling Lynch, and Wakeland has a free, Akamanis has got it, but the umpire stops it's a Collingwood free kick. It's against Lynch. It goes to Wakeland. There's five minutes left. Wakeland goes wide. Half back back. They've got the free man. Lecuria. Can he spot Burns? He does. He sees him. He hits him with a pass. Long kick. High kick. Terrence at half forward. Coming hard. Chris Scott. Can't mark. Terrence dives in. Chris Scott. 60 from defensive goal. Goes with a handball to Voss. They get out of trouble. Voss wide to Ackermanis. Gee, Voss has been super. Oh. It's been super. Ackerman slips oh. it past toward half forward. Danger. Cutting it off Ben Johnson. Crutch too high. Collingwood free kick. Play on to advantage. O'Bree slips over. Hamels to Lockyer from half back. He wobbles a high ball. Burns has lost oh, 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 what a mark. <laughs> you summed it up, Stan. Voss on the wing is hurt. Trick. 26 <laughs> minutes final term. It's a nine-point ball game and Voss is injured with cramp i suspect no he wore a really hard knee to the head man accidentally accidentally of course but he took the mark and got he, the knee he has right grabbed the, the back of that uh, calf muscle though he is... eight possessions in the final term to the champion brisbane leader 26 and a half minutes have gone brisbane lead by nine points Voss from behind the wing, goes down the southern half forward flank, keating up, can't mark, he was one of about ten up, he then levers out a hand pass, but straight to Batheris of Collingwood, kicks to the middle and burns, hand pass to Clement, strikes one, gives to Loney on the break, kind bounce, 70 metres out, loads up, kicks long, one on one, Lepic spoils Fraser, brilliantly done, out to the boundary, and over for a throw in in Collingwood's left forward pocket, we're at the 27 minute mark, and the Lions lead by a kick and a half. Ball about to be tossed in. Still a couple of minutes remaining. Rocker, Fraser over the top, third man up. Oh, gathered by Chris Scott, just slips a half wobbling, half measured kick towards the boundary line and it rolls out about 60 metres from Collingwood's goal. We're into the 28th minute, final term. If Collingwood win from here, it will be one of the great performances of all time. Keating and McKee, side by side, they go at it. McKee swipes at it, misses it. Betheris, high kick inside 50. Collingwood near to mark. Mal Michael rises. Nick Davis crumbs, caught. Gathered by Chris Scott, caught. Hacks it outside, defensive 50. A race on. Hark v. Lecuria. Lecuria there first, but fumbles. Toe pokes it to his own advantage. Can he pick it up? He can't. He's ridden. He's over it. He's gathered. He knocks it out in free ball's direction. Ashcroft with him. Ball in a pack. Knocked out to Power. Lions get it away. Power long kick for half forward. It bounces just outside, attacking 50. And it's out of play. And we're in the 29th minute of the final term and the Lions still lead by nine points. And because Channel 10 have the coverage, Dwight, <laughs> we don't know how long there is to go. No. 
Great play by Sean Hart, though. Just outside the 50, Brisbane in attack, leading by nine points. Black's got the footy for the Lions. Now it's loose. Clement towards Buckley, who paddles, fiddles, finesses, tackled, pulled off the footy. Black picks up, gives to Voss. Magnificent last quarter, the skipper. Hand pass to Headland, under the pump, goes to ground. Hand pass to Brad Scott, under the pump, dispossessed. O'Brien of Collingwood wins it, gives to Freeborn, swings it haphazardly and straight to Chris Scott, who's had a who big last quarter. I, I was about takes to the mark on the wing. I was about to say that he's he struggled all day and yeah, he's been exposed he's by one Tarrant. Of the who really has lifted. But his last uh, ten minutes has been terrific and his last quarter has been fantastic and in total. Pass wide to Ashcroft, they're milking the seconds from the clock. They have been the best team all year, apart from round 22, when they lost top spot the Lions. Ashcroft back to half. They milk more seconds. Collingwood players now manning up. Hart will get the hurry up from the umpire. He was he is backward of the wing. MCC members side. 30th minute on the clock now, final term. Lions by nine. Ball towards half forward. Off hands, close to the boundary. It's out of play. It's they, okay for Collingwood. They're the gone. Stops. I reckon they're gone. You can, the body English around the Collingwood players. They just know they've run their race, I think. The shoulders are down. Throw in just outside Brisbane's 50. McKee wins to Clement, knocks it to Burns. Beautifully tackled by guess who? Mr. Michael Boss. But Collingwood escaped with it. Ben Johnson bursts through like his namesake. Kicks to Nick Davis. 70 metres out. celebrating a grand final that really had to be won and it took a great side to win it in the way in which Brisbane did. Yes, yeah, so it was a great effort. Uh, I mean, uh, there, there was quite a few things that went against them today. You know, a few injuries and uh, a few other things out of their control. But uh, they uh, great, proved themselves to be a great side, but full credit to Collingwood. Uh, they they were absolutely sensational today. They, they kept the pressure up the whole day. were in front quite a few times. Uh, maybe a little bit unlucky not to... Um, not to win, even though, even though Brisbane had more scoring shots, they had their chances in the last two quarters to Tarrant and Rocker and a few other guys. If they're about to kick goals, it might have been a different story, but they were very courageous. They really they, they did their club proud. They were, they were fantastic today. Oh, one of the things that you always see after a grand final is people slump on the ground and, and, and put their heads down. I mean, the Collingwood players could walk away and hold their heads up high. Forget about what happened today. They did a great job. They could, uh, they could do no more, and uh, they were beaten by just a, a tremendous side. And one by one, their coach, Michael Malthouse, is patting those heads. A few Collingwood players sitting down, a few standing up. 
None of them have left the arena. They will stay and watch the presentation. And Michael Morehouse, one by one, now walks up to his captain, Nathan Buckley, puts his arm around him, slaps him on the chest. He's a disappointed man, Michael Morehouse, but he's also very proud. So is Lee Matthews, who embraces his old Collingwood sidekick, Graham Gubby Allen. They were the engine room of Collingwood's planning and thinking that led to the 1990 flag and they have done the same in Brisbane early in the next decade, the next century, the next millennium and Brisbane are the team of our time having won flags in 2001 and now in 2002 but any suggestion that this was going to be a walkover was dispelled very early today the scenes, the contrast in the response to the outcome of the game was there on full display and yet the performances of the two teams were almost equally magnificent and when you consider how relatively undermanned we've all imagined this Collingwood team has been by comparison, you have to give them enormous credit. Oh, oh yeah, sorry Stan, on, as I said before, they were, they, were, they were fantastic and they were very courageous and you know, there's probably three or four of the, the players who were down a bit today I didn't um, didn't get much out of, but really as a side they stuck manfully to the task. I think an interesting thing and it shows great sides but also very good players is if you're having a down day, be able to, able to contribute and Chris Scott, now Michael had a good fight back in the last quarter. His only spoiling was terrific on Rocker and a charge at the ball. So these type of players who were down didn't have, you know, probably a bad day to three quarter time were able, able to contribute in a very significant way. Akamanis' last quarter was pretty good too. Yeah. Just yeah. put in little touches yeah. here and there. Look, it was, it, it, it's time to step up stuff, isn't it? When you think of that last quarter, you know, we've only had three goals kicked. There was four points in the three quarter time. The ball just swung up and down one end of the ground for about 10 or 11 minutes before Fraser kicked the goal was a battle of defence, the, the desperation shown by all sides. Like I say, you just talked about that, people step up, don't they, in the hour of need, and Voss, if Voss just didn't show why he's <laughs> one of the greatest players in this competition in the last quarter, I don't know who is. No, he's a fantastic Incredible. leader. It's just interesting on the TV there, he's got blood in his mouth, but it wasn't picked up as, uh, as far as coming off the ground. <laughs>